Kako da kim nema one grave wet lemur? By the way, the gorgeous lemur. There's a good boy, yeah. Off, and he's missing that cracker as well. Oh, nice, give, oh. Us a, give us a countdown, mate. No, <laughs> Jesus. No, in, um, by the way, we needed somebody good looking. Oh. My, we've had McGinn in temps here. What was that? Was that an uh, standby or something? Or <laughs> What's no, the we chat? Thought, we make you look <laughs> even better by putting Stephen McGinn and David Temple on number four. <laughs> That's hard. We're struggling so for, hard. We're struggling for, uh, so uh, hard. We're struggling for numbers, aren't we? <laughs> oh, he shot at her. He shot it. He's uh -huh. lost one game. Is he not coming? Can I do it? Is he not coming? No. Oh, wow. He actually well. said that we were miles better when uh, Lennon went off and I came on. That was <laughs> he didn't want to face me. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't want to face, face you, right. exactly. And by the way, what about the D-squared trainers? <laughs> You're doing all right, by the way. I can't even tell you D-squared are, mate. Oh, they're, 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 they're proper, mate. <laughs> oh, they are. I'm no anti-fashion, so that's, lo as long as that's <laughs> obvious. What, you must be making a few quid at the barber now, mate, eh? I'm doing all right at it, mate. Aye, business is good, man. Is it just you in the business shop yourself? Good. So I work out my mate's shop. Um, I obviously, long term, want to get my own place, but... Uh, no, it's been fine. It's been really good. I've got a really good clientele and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Can you cut cotton wool? I can, aye. <laughs> I, can well, fluff, I, actually, I actually off. spoke to him a, a bit on Twitter about getting one of the aye, aye. pieces. Yeah, pieces, aye. Hair systems are good. I've got about... So you do them? Yeah, yeah. That's my kind of niche. Um, I've obviously got clients that have come in for haircuts and stuff, but I've got at least just shy of 70 clients with hair systems on, aye. Have you? No, aye. It's any, been good. Uh, there ain't any name names, but any big names in Scottish football? Uh, I don't want to throw anything out there, mate, and throw anybody under No, this, but is there, is there football well, on, on my page, Grant Gillespie's on it. Um, so Grant Gillespie's Never obviously... Never no, I'm kidding, no, good com player. Complete change, big, bold, hard man look. As soon as he got it on, it was like, flare player. <laughs> he turned into a flare player. Is that the step over? Ah, he's step over. Yeah, yeah, Grant's at uh, Morton. And they play with a piece right. on? Yeah. Must be reads of that. Yeah. Come after a set of that. You've seen it up close, and I want you to be honest on it. What do you make a turkey head, Andy? I've not seen Andy up close. I've not seen him for a while. Have you not? No, I've not. I Have see you not seen him for the stand? Um, that's not up close. Though, uh -huh. is it? <laughs> but that kind of close. Um, what do you make? I, I think it's decent. Ah, it looks alright. Ah, it looks as if he's got a decent wee fade as well. Uh huh. Which is good, though. Wait, do, you, do, so do you get a bit? Do you get the hump when people go to Turkey instead of coming to you? No, not at all. Not at all. Listen, I've got clients that have had transplants and now get hair systems on. So it's like they've spent all that money in the transplants, not really went that great, and then they've got hair systems on. So it's each to their own. I think I'll push on it towards the hair system. I think you'll fit <laughs> the hair system better. Well, what are set. you getting done with that? I'm getting a new transplant, aye. So you'll shave that and then it'll shave be. That, stick some hair from the sides onto the top, onto there, a wee bit of the front. And then this time next year, Bo, I'll be fucking flying. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Things are fine in that at all. They will find like coppers and like bits of chewing gum and that in that hair, won't they? He's trying to grow his. Like the he's trying to grow his. I'm growing mine. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> like... You want to come in? I'll cut yours if you want, mate. What no would problem. you do? Can you do old skin fade, high skin? Can uh, I mate? do a skin? No. Are you joking mate, me? You'd be surprised. I'm a, I'm a See a high skin fade. High skin fade. High skin fade. People struggle with. Cut Lenser. He's uncle's doing it now. See high skin fade. This is quite a high skin fade. Eyes medium to high skin fade. We're going to come on to Lennon, but just quickly, you got any pet peeves? Have I got any what? Pet peeves, things that really do your tits in. Turning up for a cancelled podcast. Uh, I, some, I was only a hop, hop skip my jump away from here, like, but I had nothing else to do, honestly. I didn't. <laughs> well, you're Sunday. <laughs> must, and somebody cancelled 40 Sunday. minutes before no, the no, podcast. No, no, listen, that happens. That happens. Um, listen. It happens in business. <laughs> it happens in business. It happens in podcasts. Hey, listen, I'm, I don't, I'm, Need to I, explain yourself. I very really can't. And in fact, I've never cancelled anything. <laughs> I'm always here. Are you? Aye. Right. I'm one of those, those weirdos, though, that comes like half an hour early, 20 minutes early, just. Give us a fear, mate. I think you're sitting yeah. in that car park. Mate, I was sitting down there earlier on thinking you have stitched me up Again. here. I'm looking like that, uh, looking at cameras and that, and then phones you <laughs> obviously. It's a deep film. So where were you yesterday? Uh, we were out on Saturday night, and then we were taking, you know, pick the kids up, they've been doing the farm. And then Lynn's car broke down, so uh, we're getting a new car actually, but it's not ready for the first of March with the new plate and that, so. You need a motor? So, the motor. No, it's okay. I'm convinced that was, role, that was role play, wasn't it? No, I've so you broke down on the side uh, of the motor and put the specs on, pretend you're for the AA. Aye. Somebody says you've seen you with an exhaust pipe in your gun. <laughs> Leave the oil over his face. Oh, like. what the hell? I was wondering, but you're starting to, you're starting to really like that place, aren't you? Oh man, what a place. First See, man, I've got a wonder bar the wonder bar. A few people and they say, right big man, the only reason I'm in here is because you keep raving about it. <laughs> I say, what you think? He says, it's outstanding. Have you been in, big man? I've not been in, no. Oh, no, wow. I don't, uh, to be fair, I don't get out much. I don't drink anymore either, so. But I was in, is it house, house? House. House, I was in house, and then Kong, not that long ago. It was good. It was house nice. is more your sort of scene in it, older. 
the fist to Kerry. All right, mate. House. Oh, but house is right next to Kong. Oh, it's down the stairs, isn't it? Um, and that was a good video with Big Charlie, actually. Oh, were you? Big Chico, aye. You do a couple of, uh, uh, a couple of hearts in your time, aren't it? Playing tennis with Norwick there as well. Were you? Big Chico, aye. How about aye. who won? Nah, do you need to ask him? Did you beat him, did you? Huh? Aye. Do you know what? It was, it was a really good game. It was like, every, we were in the point. Both of us were in the point every time. I beat him 6-1. What? But it's no, it's no like a, it's six, not like a pure set, uh, six no, games, six to, games one. to one. Aye. That's a dude. That's but a dude, no, mate. it's no, it was, it was a good game. They win the maze like that every fucking two minutes. <laughs> crack it, keep doing like that every two it. minutes, isn't it? You should be that on the telly with the sports scene, <laughs> kept doing <laughs> that. So <laughs> you were in a bit of that last week. I know. Drunk in the hotel. I was oh, actually I watched God, that. God, I fucking murder sort of. Any other pet peeves? Just quickly. Anything that really does your tits in life? Chilled, didn't you? No, they are quite chilled, aye. Steve Avery being guilty. Is that annoying you? Wee bit aye. Yeah, he's not Watch guilty. That. Watch that, it was good that wasn't it? Guilty or not guilty? Um, it's a big hang on this show. Pass. I'll get back to you. <laughs> oh really right? <laughs> not guilty mate, free nah, Steve Avery. Uh, and just not. quickly before we move on to the fit boys, well your dream meal starter main course is it? I think this could oh, be good. This will be up a class. I think it'll be basic. Do you? Oh, I think I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I think there's a steak in there. I like it. Nah, I'm not, I'm not no. a steak man. No, I'm not actually. Um, no, he's vegan or something. I'd like it. No, 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 no. I'm, Haggis bonbons maybe to start I like yeah, heard them yesterday in the oh, good, they? Amazing Oh uh, sensational Mustardy sauce, sauce. Um, I like Do you know what I like I can't I like, It's no basic right But it's chicken fajitas I love a chicken fajita That's mate exactly. Love basic. a chicken But I love, I love tapas. I love tapas. Yeah. I love tapas I love loads of wee dishes To be honest And then Any good tapas places you like the Cafe Andalus I do you Old school Cafe Andalus I can't see past that Do you ever remember Pancho Vez in the tune Mexican Incredible, yeah. mate. Was it? Aye. The tune could do with a right good Mexican. I like, Rafa's I like a, nice tacos. Have you been I there? Like a, I like a Mexican uh, fajitas, tacos, and all the rest of it. And your dessert? Dessert would probably be some sort of toffee sundae or sticky toffee pudding or something like that. Aye. Mm. Sweet tooth. And big, big revolution. He doesn't drink anymore. Yeah, aye. Do you know? Four years. Aye. Got, is that four years? I've done it the reverse way. I shouldn't, <laughs> I shouldn't have drank when I played, and then I should have drank when I've gave up. But a lot of people no, I'm in a good place, before. mate. See, health wise, brilliant. In the gym first thing in the morning, six o'clock with the missus and ice baths. Aye, love it. Are you, mate? Aye, aye. I'm what was the stage that you decided to get with that? I don't know. I was, we never really went out. Um, and I, I can go out and have a laugh and a joke and that without a drink. See the, the see four, people say that. I don't believe you, man. See the four or five days afterwards. I wasn't 100%. Mm. Like, imagine me trying to go and cut hair and I've got the shakes. Nah, not uh, for me, man. Uh, just not quickly, point, the, point your arse on here. What's the business called? Uh, nine here. Nine here. Obviously, yeah. after your shirt number. Yes, that was the whole idea behind it, yeah. Right. Yeah, number nine all my days. Although I started it a midfielder, but mate, you got into that. Um, but no, nine here's my, my business, and it's doing, it's doing fine, mate. I've got Did a you ever play against each other? I think I played, I, I remember, I, I could be wrong here, but I mean, I was out and saying we were at Largo for Scotland 21, and you turned up. Were you with Falk up then? I probably was, I See, that's the you thing though. kid man rocked up. You're only a few years younger than me. I see, the thing is though, see, because I was at Falkirk, I was never quite in the uh, 21s uh, of Falkirk Scotland. boys never get called up. Uh, I think Scotty no. Arfield's the only one in history that's uh, been called up So see, you. like that lower league, I was the first division, which is championship. At that time, it was always the, the uh, Premiership or down south for that to get called up. So I never. You would need about eight call offs. You would need about eight call offs. Oh, you know, that, that, that was the same in the first team. Um, I get three caps <laughs> through call offs. And I was involved. Like, I was hampered, boy. I was. I would go and train and and enjoy the training, enjoy the trip, man. I do. I need. I do need to say this. We. I played against him when he was. Have I played against you a few, few, few times when you were the full kit manager, that. mate? He would have done. <laughs> we played them at Falkirk Stadium. What age would you have been? About 58 at that time? Uh, about 50, mate, about you, were a, you, were, you were actually maybe. the best player in the picture. Like, I'm not just saying that. Like you were my here. pension and that. Aye, sorry. Do you remember that again? Um, I do. Yeah, I, I think I scored that game as well. You did? Possibly. You were on pink. Pink, you your pink right. strips on, aye. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Was that your last, what was your last game? Oh, God, I don't even know. Um, it, was probably, it was probably the game. Oh no, I don't know if I put myself on. The game used beat us up there, and that probably got us a sack. <laughs> uh, up that at was Peterhead. Last, I think that was your last game. I don't game, know if it? I went on, though, did I? Possibly, I can't even remember. Um, that phew, is, a, is a blur, to be honest. Um, and did that kind of scunner you with football after that? Uh, totally. Totally scunnered me, didn't want anything to do with it. Um, it ripped me apart, just the, the way the things happened. See, if we'd have got to the end of the season, we didn't get promoted, is what we set out to do. I'm fine with that. But with four games to go, and then they don't even make the playoffs. I think obviously Gary Holt will get that bounce from him. Mm -hmm. Didn't get that. 
they didn't make the playoffs and it was a disaster. Gary Holt just had them driving buses <laughs> all day at training, didn't he? Right, boys? Three red lights. We're going to put you through your bus license instead of training. Uh, so, in the year before, you yous were top of the league when COVID oh, hit, man. and that, so you never well, went up because of that as well. well Am I right saying that? Well, it, it was Ixy Pixy between us and, and Wraith, and uh, they, were a, they were top on a point. COVID hit, they go up, we stayed down, it was like <laughs> devastating, absolutely devastating. And then we were told the next season, at one point we didn't think there was going to be a league for us to play in so we were like just put us into any league and we'll try but we were told we're probably naive in a way that we're told to to build a championship team to win league one that's difficult to do yeah. do you know what i mean so you need players that know league one no, and won't. know how to battle and know how to graft and and we were we were good chasing it but see when we got to the top we kind of bottled that a wee bit in terms of um just what can you do with the pressure and you just changed you know what it's like you set your team up you do patterns of play and you do different things see when they cross that white line do whatever they want yeah. you can coach them for the side but inevitably if if things are hard they revert back to what they're used to doing and channel balling and all that and we wanted to try and play yeah, which yeah. was difficult it was difficult not just a fit more coach manager player but your boy also plays as well and he's he does absolutely have. fine <laughs> and this is he's better he's just as good if not better than a certain a leg right. at that age that's a massive call massive call Listen, yeah. Andy obviously gets a wee bit carried away every now and then, so that's understandable. <laughs> but nah, he did tell playing, me mother I would beat Martin as well, so I would take that back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be playing though in Premier League football at 16, was it 16 he made his debut? Yeah, 16 he made his debut. Um, a, um, so you just on him, like, how, how, how young did you know that he was like special? Um, listen, see, before Lennon could walk, he was, kicking, he was kicking a ball. Literally rolling about kicking a ball. He always wanted a ball and I, I always tell a story about... Uh, he was six days old when I signed Aberdeen. So he's always he's a student of the game. He's watched the game, studied the game, every single game. And um, I think he must have been one or two. So he's just walking. So he's half falling. I remember it. It was a wee uh, fluffy AC Milan Champions League ball, right? He used to have it. His mum used to have it um, in the players' lounge afterwards. And Jimmy Caldwell used to, every player had to stay in there, the players' lounge, for until he came in with his wife and that. And then you could go. You right. could bolt, so see when you get beat, you're like, Why is that? He's got to see his wife. Well, he just wanted his wife probably, cracker, aye. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> um, He just wanted everybody to mingle. And uh, so Lennon's of it. If you didn't have a football, you had to scrimple up a bit of paper for him to volley, right? So he's got this wee fluffy ball and feeding it in him, feeding it in him. And just as the doors open, and Jimmy and his wife and that came through, Sandy Clark and Jimmy Nick come through, she got a glass of wine, and he's creamed this half volley. And it's gone straight and you think, oh no. Hit the gas on the oh head. no. No, it smacks his wife's <laughs> wine all <laughs> over the place, right? <laughs> so do you know that way the whole players lounge you've seen as she went <gasps> and she just laughed it off. She's went, oh, that's funny, great strike, you know. And I was like, ah, it was that. honestly, mate. So he's always had a great technique in terms of striking the ball and that, but he's just he's a good kid. He's not any different things, he's, he's not any like labels, not nah, nothing like that. He's just he doesn't drink, he's just Focused on being a, a good football player. But I mean it like so when he starts to get in a boys' club, like what even like when he went to Motherwell as a kid, what age was that uh -huh. having eleven, twelve? What what age did he start to really stand out at like pro youth level? So he, he was in at Celtic when he was uh Was he? Six, aye, but he oh, didn't enjoy it. Sold it to let somebody go. He didn't no, he didn't it wasn't <laughs> that must have been released, is no, he? No, it wasn't <laughs> that he <did>. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the verge. It wasn't that he did he didn't he enjoy it. <laughs> No, it wasn't. It wasn't them. It wasn't them. He just kept on. Tory Glenn, six week blocks, kept on, and uh, he just didn't enjoy it. He didn't enjoy it. It was a wee bit too serious for him. He just wanted to play with his pals. Went back to his boys' club, um, and then went to Muddle. It was more of a boys' club feel with decent coaching. He met a few boys that he really got on with, like Baylor Rice and um, a few others, and uh, it just they had a great team. They had an absolutely brilliant team. Two thousand six, his Muddle team he used to beat your Rangers and Celtic. Um, apart from the first time actually that he played against Rangers, he absolutely shot the bed. Did he? Shot the bed, aye. And I was. And what age was and that? It's only it's the only other time. So that would have been ten, right. ten maybe. And I always said I'd, I'd never get through him. I'd never just let him do his thing. Let him get going. And he just know that way. You just know your kid's not up for it. He's like fake injuries. He's going down. He's not helping his mate. I'm like, nah. I got him in the car, and I went through him. And it's the only time I've ever done it. And he still, I still speak to him now about it and he said I deserved it, I, I, I was miles off it, I, I shot it for the, for the badge. Uh -huh. I said don't you ever embarrass yourself, embarrass me, embarrass. 
because he basically played against the badge. Listen, first team boys do that. They play against the badge and they... You'd have hated me. That was me every week. I'm giving you a motor every week. <laughs> I had done it myself years uh-huh. ago. But I went through them and see from then on in, I never ever done it again. In the 2060s, my old used to beat Rangers and Celtic all the time. I don't know. Aye, from that on. And it's the only time I've ever done it with him. And he took it, listen, he was howling great, and I felt bad at the time. But I thought, there's no way I'm taking you here, there, and everywhere. I'll take you back to your boys club. I don't need you to be a footballer. Yeah. You're brilliant. You've got an unbelievable talent. Go and show it. There's nobody better than you on that field. Do you think? It was one of those moments. It was just like, do you think any of them are better than you in that? He's like, no, 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 no. And then that was him for there on in. That was him. He just. And you've never had to do that again, though? No. He's just oh. been brilliant every week since. Apart from Friday night against Morton. <laughs> so do you, <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Do you still even though he's in the first I, I still. We speak about the game. We speak about the game. He knows I understand the game. And I'll just ask him what he could have done better, what he thinks about the game, how he thinks it went. And we'll just talk. We'll just talk about different tactics and different things like that. Eh? He first came up for me, I remember he scored that half way line goal. Yep. Who was, was that for Scotland? Against for Scotland. 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 That debut. Was, uh, that was, debut uh, with Scotland. That was the Scotland use one. Too, and that was a big clip. Because everybody was waiting for this guy to then uh, emerge. It, it was yeah. uh, his debut with Scotland against England down there, and we nearly missed the goal sure. So we went down, myself, my wife, Maria, and the boys. Went down and we were down at the burger van. You <laughs> weren't eating a burger. Talk. No, I wasn't eating a burger, obviously, but we heard the whistle going for obviously the referee to set up the players. Like, shit. So we ran up to the top of the hill and it was behind the goal he scored in. Whistle goes and I could see him ch- chatting, obviously. He's, he's tried to do it before um, and he's just pinged it right into the goal. And you just see us getting up into the shop, like, fucking ah, It's brilliant. It was class. It was, minty it was minty die. So really, he, he, really he must have had other. So he signed your mother well at 15, 16. He must have had that clubs for down south wanting to take him. He he's always had that. He's always had agents, obviously, pestering us, wanting to go here, there, and everywhere. And I get that. But Lennon's always, and I don't know if it's me drilling into him or the fact that I started a kind of, no offence, a, a lower team than Noel Firm or a Premiership team or that. But he's just always wanted to play first team football at an early age. I had him in, see, when I was Falcon manager, I had him in at 14, training with Big Connor Salmon and that. They're yeah. looking at him like, wait, did you see? He's 14, he was holding his own, he was doing well. He was doing fine, so he's always kind of been a student of the game, wanting to get involved. I've been lucky enough to have a lot of good managers who have allowed them to just feed balls into training and stuff like that. So he's always been around about changing rooms. That's probably stood him in good stead in terms of getting into a first team yeah. and being able to survive. Even he knows a good pro for a bad pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, just I mean? watching. Mm-hmm. even just watching. Good habits. Even just watching, absorbing, understanding absorbing how everything. people operate at that young yeah. age. because. Yep. I, know, I don't know, like he's, like, I like the idea of sometimes when you have your dad like that was a player and mm. experienced what you've experienced, you can guide him better. Yeah. Sometimes we as parents sometimes think, oh I need my boy into Celtic, I need my boy into Rangers, wherever I saw the top teams. But realistically, if you can get into a first team like a Motherwell or St Mirren or a Hibs or something at a young age, you're going to go and hit the teams eventually somewhere, mm. at some point. Yeah, I'll listen, it's, it's you're always seeing Mikey Doyle play Peter Worth football for life, for not <laughs> Mikey's a great boy, man. Great boy, Mikey. <laughs> nah, boy, he's a great, great boy. I think it's just one of them where it's not one size fits all. It's, you know, yourself, your Kieran Tierney's, your Robertson's, McGinn's, they've all had different pathways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just finding the right one. And listen, not everybody finds their own one. The, the correct one for themselves, then they end up out of the game. It's hard. It's Does really hard. Does he pay you keep money? What's that? Again, uh, what a credit though, because how many of these boys chase the money down in England as soon as they got offered a decent yeah. deal down there, they're off, isn't there? But he wanted to stay and play for Motherwell. Yeah, he, 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 he could leave Motherwell, say, say he decides to leave Motherwell the next season or two, 18 years old, and maybe what, 100 odd games under his belt. Mm. There's kids that leave Rangers at 21, 22, with five sub appearances, uh, uh, and expect to get a decent move. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard one because he wanted to follow Paul Slane's route, didn't he? I think so, I <laughs> think he wanted to go down, down that, that. So down does, that road. Does he tell you keep money? <laughs> He does to pay digs, aye. Yeah. aye. He's, he's a good kid. Lennon's a good kid, man. He's got his head screwed on. Um, and he's just good to have a bit of place. And he's obviously playing now with Andy Halliday, who you played <laughs> with. Who's that mere for you or him? I don't know. You'd have to ask Andy. He's, uh, he's played with a few boys that I played with, like Sir Liam Kelly's, Ricky Lamy, um, Andy. Andy was a, Andy was a, a winger stroke striker when I was at Middlesbrough. We'd lose a game. Striker? Aye. aye. Me and him had loads of games in the resis. I was a scud. What, you and him up front together? Aye. Oh, that must was... have been a real low point in your career, nah? Possibly one of the low points. There's been loads. He's been looking at a defender, so. I know, I know that's shocking for was me. Was he good at that? Andy was good, mate. Good Andy player. was good. Very good player, right? I think he's underrated, Andy, isn't he? He was, was well liked as well. He was a young boy coming in there. I didn't really fit in with the Middlesbrough uh, team. I, I would never. 
when you say like ex Middlesbrough player, I was never really a Middlesbrough player. Um, for whatever reason, it just didn't work for me down there. But Andy was loved by the boys, get right in, right in amongst the banter and all that right away, and he fitted right in. I never really done that, to be fair. Uh, it's, who was it? Big Mac, Wee Willow Flood, Scott McDonald. Aye, it was uh, like an old fun contingent, mm -hmm. wasn't it? And yeah. did you feel that like you were kind of left away for the same? No, e no, even for that point of view, like just I wasn't playing. To me, you're not playing. You're not feel. You don't Aye. feel part of it. You don't feel part That's of that at club. Um, and I was listening. I was busting my balls trying to play because I had a decent appearance money. I had decent appearance fees, so I was wanting to play every single game. Whereas a lot of them were on high, high yeah, wages, yeah, so, so they weren't that. really bothered uh -huh. if they playing or not. So, um, right, we spoke about your boy. Uh, obviously, as you said, Friday night against Morton. I, I think I did call it in the Coupon Show, man. I said I went for Morton. Mm -hmm. Did you go into the game? Was there a worry there that Morton in such great form? Motherwell, all right, results have been good, yeah. but a bit hit and miss. Were, were you yeah, worried yeah. about the fact that Morton could maybe put them out of the cup? I definitely. It's, well, that's why the BBC picked it as a game. Yeah. It was a potential banana skin. Um, so obviously standing behind the goals, the flares, coughing up all sorts for those crazy flares. Every game, eh? Uh -huh. Most games, I right. I'll tend to go to most games. Um, but no, I, just the way they started, they just never get going. Um, they get sucked into playing long ball. Mm -hmm. I don't know it's a difficult pitch, but try to play at least, play through the fobs. It kind of bypassed Lennon a wee bit. Um, and they deserved it. Morton deserved it. The game plan and they, they played well and they got their, their goals at the right time and goals change games. What Poor, goal. Game? Poor goal, the first one, eh? Yeah. The corner. I think, I think, I was looking at it a few times back in the replay and I was... They've got two men on the post, and I, I can't figure out whether Motherwell's zone. Like you said, he's a corner, isn't it? First Oakley? First no, other way. First other way corner, right. sorry. sorry. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I kinda, I'm looking at it thinking, I'm Motherwell's zone. Because it looks like the, the, the two guys are just like in positions. I'm thinking, if you just took a step, like, even one yard back, Aye. that ball comes in and you just head that clear. So it's a good ball in because it's into a dangerous area, but you would like Robbie's to think. Robbie's got that in his locker as well, Robbie Muirhead. Yeah, yeah. A wand, a left foot, mate. Good a ball in. Left you've got to have them. Um, if you've got two guys there at the near post, you're expecting one or two Aye. of them yeah. to feed it. And obviously, Liam Kelly, I think the commentator was quite harsh on Liam Kelly. He says, I know a great game up to this point. <laughs> and I was like, geez, oh, Johnny, calm down. You, <laughs> Johnny Sunderland. <laughs> <get better." laughs> he was not coming to, was he? Or do you mean at half time, the punditry? No, it was that. It was the, uh, the, the, the kind of highlights thing I watched back and then. Mm -hmm. I was looking at it thinking, that is what it is, but like you say, Morton were, were, were direct. They hard were place using, to go. Oh, they were, Dougie's got them Capo fucking... A hard place thankfully, I've never played at Capolo, but I think I've only ever trained there, but... Um, nah, like, Dougie, they've, they've been on a mad, crazy run a, a lot of games. Like, Dougie was under pressure, mate. Are they not at one stage? Are they not like 14, 14 unbeaten or something like that? That's amazing, isn't it? It's so crazy like that, right? Dougie, but like you say, it was a banana skin, and Motherwell did make a few changes, considering the team that beat Ross County the... A few days before 4 0, obviously Andy was on the bench. No, but you're so, surprised it was only one. Was it only, was it only Andy? Aye, for Lennon. I'm not just, say, I'm not just <laughs> saying this. <I'm, laughs> That's his first start. I'm not being up his ass, but oh. I thought they were better when Andy and Devine came on. But Devine's done well when he came on. Like you said, Dax has played a wee bit more. Devine's a good player, he gets yeah. forward. Um, looks as if he's got good quality as well. I've seen him a good few times. Um, gives you that outlet. But uh, that was just one of those games. It was. Managers probably said, I don't know this, but managers probably said, go along for 10 minutes, let the game settle, but it just never settled. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. just long ball. Well, it's two centre backs are decent at defending long balls, aren't they? Aye, aye, they're big birds, are uh -huh. a good player, he's a handful as well. Like, they'll be disappointed to get, get opportunity put. For I know it is a good opportunity, I but probably come the course of the season, see if they stay up and maybe threaten to try and get to that top six, they'll probably look back and think, well, it's a lesser headache, but yeah. they'll be disappointed. They will be disappointed because, but Morton, like the flying that was an easy. That would have been an easy tie for any Premier League team. No, no, uh, no, uh, no. Capolo, so how is that in the stand for? Has there been any hard any incidents where uh, that he's been getting kinned? I know he's done really no, well since he's came in. What's, what's sometimes I, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a bad spectator, mate. My missus will not sit next to me. She'll sit like four away from really? me. And that, I am. I get so nervous. I get so nervous. I'd see playing. Not a problem. Not a problem going out and playing again uh, in front of 70,000. No bother. See, watching my son do it is so difficult. Do you man. just solely focus on him when you're there? And that's why I've, I've been asked to do a couple of uh, commentary gigs and I kind of, I'm hesitant because... You just talk about your boy? No, because, no because I just player cam him. Uh -huh. I just watch him and see the Aberdeen game he get injured. Called it straight away. Say he's no moving night. He's no moving night. Fuck. He's no moving night. He's done himself. 10 minutes into the Aberdeen game, he played 70 minutes with a fractured patella. Oh, was that the one that kept him out for so long? Aye. And you can tell straight away. Minutes, no straight away, he's no moving right. Keeps touching his knee, I fucking get him off, get him mm -hmm. off. And come out for the second half, I'm thinking no. Um, but no, I just, I like to play a camera and watch what's going on and see if he, positional. Lennon's, 
he's so mature for his age. He understands positional sense. Where to be? Aye, and uh, he's he's good to watch. To be fair, uh, are you like that with your boy Kev? You nervous? I am it? nervous. Saturday, like, well, well, like, when he played boys club near Hassel, but ever since he went to Celtic, any time he played on a Saturday or a Sunday, mm -hmm. I hated it because he's the goalie. Last line uh, of defence, he makes a mistake. It's like, oh, fuck. Every other parent's just staring at Oh, everyone's like, oh, Danny. But then, then, like then I've got to remember that when he does make a good save, I make a good decision, I think. Well, if he hadn't have done that, he would have been a golden. Yeah. So it, it, it is hard, but you've got to just remember that in Lennon's case, he, he's a young man now. I know. Whereas I know. In, like, you're, young, you're one of your youngest kids. He plays so my youngest, I'm still, I'm still, I'm not as nervous, but. Again, a great, great set of balls on you. Uh, <laughs> football players, man. I know. My eldest, was, my eldest was a British judo champion. There you go. Was he? I don't know. So I. And then mother boys, punch, punch mother boys are computer in, freak. Oh, aye, he can handle himself, aye, aye. Yeah, so. Do you, do you, you scared about shouting at him now? We bit scared him, aye. We bit scared him, aye. He's a he's British scared. judo champion. He was a British judo champion, aye. He gave it up now because he's got to go and work and earn money. You only earn money. Wow. For wow. Uh, judo and that, so, aye. So, like, Is that never I can watch him in life? Oh, aye. Judo that final, was, oh, my lineup. God. Oh, my God. So he got to a stage, I can't remember what, what uh, weight group, weight division it was, but you could, like, tap out. And stuff, so you could knock him out and stuff like that. So he get flipped when it, and I still didn't really know the, the rules, right? So I'm thinking, right, what's happened there? So if you flip them and they don't land on their back, right, you've got to pin them for 24 seconds or something like that, right? So I'm like, the boy flips him and he, he rolls out it, so he's not out of the game completely, but he's knocked out. I can see he's knocked out. I'm like, I'm sure, oh, he's knocked out, he's knocked out. And the boy gets a, an arm lock on him and then he wakes up and he has to tap out, like, but. Oh my god, it's nervous, mate. Aye. I, I really remember looking through your window and thought you and Lynn were doing the judo bit. We see that. I'm really concerned as I'm really concerned as he saw through my window the size of him. Hope you are still. I don't lie, don't I? I don't lie, don't uh, Right, Livy, we're on it. Yeah. What a result, by the way, especially coming back for the final. Didn't yep. good at home? Could that be the turning point for Livy? That's what I'm going to say. That could be it. Because you know, know what I'm thinking, right? Go tell us what you're thinking. This Newbly, could be dangerous, but go Newbly for it. Newbly scored a couple. Yes. Right. We're now into February. His contract's running down. No, he's not daft. Big, big man's needing a move. Aye. Picked up. He picks up. The rest right. might just pick up. Mm -hmm. By the way, the big striker's good at the thing as well. Yeah. Is that the boy that scored the third one? One that's absolutely so ripped. Shredded wheat. Mate, he it was takes his totally getting a tap his, off. Uh, big GPS off, off as well, just to get the pecs out there, doesn't he? he? just play topless, wouldn't you, yeah. if you looked like that? <laughs> he just play with the tits out every week. Uh, Mate, it was a good header, by the way. It was Very a good, good header. header. Died in the mud as well, didn't it? I know, he, he ran away, right? Aye. And it died in the mud, and I thought, he Aye. was sure that was going Because I was like, it started to die no. in a bit. Now, nah, that could be the turning point for Levy, because Partick Thistle again are capable under day, and being 2-0 up. I like this one. I've been watching a few times this year, even the get just attack all the time. They've got a good balance. Bad, They've got a good balance with experience and youth as Do well. Me. And they were unlucky because the boy that hit the bar with the. No, but the, the bar. corner's not even a corner. If there's var, mate, I think the no, corner's a no, corner. I know, I know, I know that's the thing. See, as a manager, you're like, oh my god, those decisions go against you. But then, like you say, it could be the turning point for David Martindale. And it's a wee bit, I'm torn because I had a great time at Livy. I loved it there. I've got a lot of time for Davy. Um, so, talk us through what, what was Davy role? You were there 2018. What was Davy's role in? So, he still kind of had. Did a car boot sale in the. <laughs> mate, he used to have a tool belt. He used to have a tool belt. He used to fix all that. Mate, honestly, see, see when I was there, right? I'm not kidding, right? Well, what, what track you on? I love the track in a tool belt. He had the tool belt and he used to, like, uh, during the close season, he would, he would he was brilliant with the boys. He was really loyal. Like, he would look after them. He would change the dressing rooms. The dressing rooms were all got done up, new flown and all that. And him and Eddie Wee kind of. So, sorry, yeah. he was like the handyman, like the Danny. Listen, he, could, he would do everything top to bottom, sort contracts, sort. But you the had lights, nothing to do with the football so side. Is he a coach in that? No, he did. He still had. He still had. He was assistant, sure. Right. But he kind of overseen everything, really, because uh, Hoppy was a manager, sure. But uh, David would take to do a training. We joined in training as well. I mean, Hoppy. Ah, because he um, played for Broxburn, didn't he? Was he decent? Ah, he's got decently fit in that. Aye. Yeah. aye. David Hopkins was. He, 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 he was he still play, you know. Aye. Did aye, you go there at League One? I went there. No, I went there. Championship. Uh, leading into the, the playoffs, getting into the Premiership. Aye. Hoppy was pet. You remember Livingston at that time, mate? I remember Hoppy was very direct, wasn't he? Mate, we, we practiced that. We practiced that on a Friday. It was, I went there at the same time Ryan Hardy and Jordan Thompson went there. Good players. And me and Ryan just Clip. hit it off, mate. We just had it off. I would take all the knocks, take the flick ons and that, and he would just run He's through. Rapid, it. Oh, mate, Greyhound. He's flying oh, to the he can, finish, by the he can finish Ryan a serious finish. The Rangers are kidding, right? His, right. Shout, his, shout, his shout used to be uh, goalies never save a sclaff. The, 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 he would never hit a true hit 
We scrap it in, he's like, well, he's never said He that. must have a wee uh, outside chance of, like, the... He's one of the... What was I, I was checking stats, actually. He's got more goals than some of the boys that are in the squad. I Dykes, I think. In James, the same league? Uh, in the same league championship, he's got more goals. Really good player. And really he's not played player. as many games because he's been injured. He's right. one of them that just Do you think he can play that level? Uh, I don't yeah. know. I've not seen him play for a while. Um, I've seen him obviously scoring. What he has is he's got pace. Raw pace, man. Aye. He's, so is and he, he knows how to finish. Mm. He's so composed in front of goal. So He'll be composed. worth a shout, eh? Second Aye. best Renard striker. Is that where he's first Renard? So he'll be a weird one. So, see, Davy, like, would he, would Hopkins give him a big role in terms of team selection or would it basically be Hopkins? Um, it would probably be the two of them. Two of them mixing it up, aye. Um, and if they had to blast the players, had... who would it be? What's that? If they had to give the players a bit, like, as in blast them? Uh, a bit of both, probably, as well. Hoppy used to give incredible team talks, right? Would he? It was only well, now and again, though. It was only now and again. It was like a stand up comedian show. And I, I, I first experienced it, right? And we were again, I think we were playing St Murn, and obviously St Murn were flying top of the league. And uh, it would sometimes now and again, and the boys used to tell me about this leading up to it, oh, he does this crazy stand up there. I'm like, alright, okay, aye. So he comes in, right, and he's got uh, so he a, he's got a seat in the middle of the changing room. I'm like, oh, what's going on here? So he starts, aye, this and that, and he talks about his time at Morton, and then this and that. He goes into the, he goes into the toilets, puts this big, a uh, thick woolen Morton strip on comes out nah fucking lash and nah fucking nah everybody's no, just man. like oh my god man this is un- what's happening here he's running about head on fucking jumping up head on and all that just taking the pressure the pressure completely away from the players and everybody's like oh laughing and joking and all that went out and beat uh, hey, it's man. a man for one yeah he only done it now and again. And when I don't he is know like, why he's played with Leeds and that, would he ever come out with a Leeds strip and that one as well? No, the just only one I seen was that one, and he came out and he would talk about him going down to Chelsea with, with uh, Del McInnes, and he would have the as the carrier bag with the, the toiletries and that, and, and Del would have the Louis Vuitton oh, and all, right. all sharp and suave and that. He would go down with the fucking one teeth and oh, all Oh, he had no teeth, didn't he, Davy Hopkins? He's nuts, man. He's he was a nuts. He's a football career, Davy Hopkins. Oh, what a kid, mate. He played always in the Champions League. I know. Right. Crystal Palace. Well. He's doing trial with Chelsea and he was playing against this this fullback and he thought, right, it's a trial game, I'm gonna nail this boy, man. First one it comes up again and nail him. This was his part of his story. So I'm fucking team myself up and the ball gets like boff smashed into this boy, got it down, wellied one in, brilliant, happy days, blew for the fill, and this practice match it was. It turned out the boy was uh, Graham was so. <laughs> Why is that? That's Graham was so. Good lad, I hate Graham was Oh my oh, god, man, this is, this is nuts. But he just proper had a, a comedy about it, and it. then it would just take the pressure away. It was, he only done it now and again. Are you, are you surprised he never went on to do better management? Because after I, I really he wasn't liked really him. successful as I thought he'd be. I really liked him. Really liked him. Uh, looked after the boys as well. We went, we went on a crazy run. Uh, it must have been like six, seven games. He said, like, listen, win the next two, I'll get you a pair of trainers. Everyone is. But he's a lot, what? It wasn't the fucking D squared. Wasn't these wee guys though. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was a way to Morton. It was a hard place to go again and a terrible game. And Nicky Carden came up with an absolute screamer to win the game. And we all bounced about the change room like we were getting a pair of two seventies, Nike two seventies, so it was Nike or two seventies. And did he get them? Eh? What, he brought a pair of trainers every in single pair of tra- Every single pair of trainers. Davey Defoe knocked them <laughs> off the back of a van, do you want it? Davey got them first. Davey got them Davey got them first. Davey got them Two weeks of bubble burst. <laughs> Davey had stole, <laughs> Davey had stole <laughs> a JD and then flogged into Hoppy and Hoppy gave them the tape. That is incredible. And it was all size 12s. <laughs> <laughs> See, even got, then, no, did you I expect Davey to go and be a manager? Although he was assistant at the time. Ah, he's very clued up. He's a clever, is clever he good, guy. Is he oh, he's really clever. Really in clever. In terms of what, like tactically, what the opposition? Tactically, like? just he done a business management degree. Yeah. When, uh, when he was in the, gym. he's very, very clued up. I've got a lot of time for him, and he's in terms of tactically aware. Very good. Because uh, we went and interviewed the manager, and I was actually surprised. Like, it took us in. And oh, he knows his stuff. Work. He knows really his good. stuff. Aye, uh, he knows his stuff. Uh, he definitely does. What about the draw? Any standout ties? Nah, not really. That's all. Nah. Apart from. Aberdeen Kelly would be a tough one. Hibs, Aberdeen, uh, I Hibs Aberdeen, Rangers, Aberdeen, isn't it? Aye. Hibs Rangers, Hibs Rangers at right? Easter, is that Easter Road, isn't it? Uh, Easter Road, uh-huh. aye. Hibs Kelly would be a standout, but I don't think Aberdeen, no, Hibs, no, Hibs Rangers. Aberdeen Kelly, mm-hmm. I don't think Aberdeen's in a, a great place, I think. That's Kamarnik what I mean, aye, Kamarnik are good. By the way, did you going. do Neil Warnock? Did you glue that on his head? Did you ever done it? Far too far back, mate. He's fucking, he's fringing his head, mate. I know, I know. 
Fix your fringe, Neil. I think he's going to enjoy his time up here. Aye, I think so as well. He's up I for think a, he's enjoying yeah, himself up, too much, yeah, isn't he? He's up for a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if the Aberdeen fans are having that, but it takes a, kind of takes the pressure away from... It does. That if he keeps going it. like this, that's a bit like what you've just spoke about, about Hoppy being a team talk. Right. That's what he's doing. He's basically yeah. taking the pressure away from the players. And obviously, two yeah. are against Bonnie Rig Rose, Miofsky getting a double. How good's Miofsky, though? Oh, Seriously. he's top, isn't he? That young Lee Miller, man. I said it months ago, mate. I reckon one of the... English Premiership in the next two years. One of the old fans will look back at the end of the season so good, and regret no signing him. One will look back and think, if we'd have signed him, we'd have yep. won the league. That's what yep. will end up Definitely. happening. Well, he's 24, isn't he? You're getting six good years out of him, aren't you? If you're Easily. You'd Aye. pay six million. But even even five. five. Plays with a smell on his face. Scoring goals out of nothing. That's a, that's you a always hate me. See, if he's scoring goals for an Aberdeen team that didn't put five passes together, what would he do at a Celtic and Rangers? Absolutely. I just think that there was a big opportunity missed there by both old firm teams. Did you enjoy your time at Aberdeen? Loved it. Loved it Proper there, big club in it. I didn't realise how big it was in all honesty until I went up and uh, I signed last day of the transfer window uh, and Jimmy wasn't even there he was in Maglif at the time. <laughs> Loved so Maglif didn't he? <laughs> Mate, I so did he Maglif? Aye, right, so, so everything's happening that, I didn't yeah. have a great time at Dundee United and anyway on the way up Lennon's six days old so me and the uh, missus get the wee man in the car drive up to Aberdeen I didn't even know where I was going. Um, you never knew where Aberdeen was? No, in terms of the stadium and all, I'd never been, I'd right. never had to drive. You go in the bus, don't you, if you go uh, and play against Aberdeen? So, driving up and I'm in the back door and came down to get us and it's like, oh, aye, aye, yeah, I've got everything sorted and all that, I've got my sterling sign. He's like, cool, aye. Uh, manager's not going to be with us. I said, all right, okay, aye. But I've got him on the phone here. Ah, oh, big man, how you doing? Ah, oh, brilliant, how are you in both? Oh, I'm like, all right, okay. Ah, oh, see you Monday, see you Monday. I'm like... This is mad. This is absolutely bonkers. Yeah, and he was he was brilliant. Jimmy was Jimmy was unreal. And what terms of what man managed? Just he's he's created a good backroom staff very, as well. Jimmy Nick, him and Jimmy, Jimmy Nick's a hero. And yeah. Sandy Clark obviously took the resi, so he got a bit of, a bit of a stick for that. Obviously, the boys that are on the plane he used to hammer Sandy, but Sandy's good as well. But Jimmy was Jimmy was incredible, man. He could just he just knew how to get the best out in you. He did. He was he was incredible. Man. What was his team talks like? Um, could he go? Could he, could oh, he get I like could mad go. Jimmy? Huh? He could go. Um, there's one time he, he, he had a go at me, actually. Terrible conditions, away to Allo, I think it might have been the Scottish Cup. Um, and I was I was having a bit of a nuke a game, right? But I'd scored, right? But it was like Chris Maguire cut in, smashed a shot, and I flicked it in, right? So I'm away. Goal, yes, happy days. I'm not doing best, but I'm, I'm not doing the best, but I've scored. It's getting a half time, fucking this and I'm fucking that. And you, fucking you. What the fuck have you done? I said, get off I've scored. He's like, aye, but fucking apart that, you're fucking shit. <laughs> I'm like, fuck's sake, man, relax. Mate, see if you've it scored. Good, mate. Oh, I always you've... used to feel, see, even like, as a midfield, if I'd scored, I, I used to think, <laughs> see if you're shitting out for the rest of the game, mate, does it <laughs> no, really matter? I know. I, I never understood why the goal scorers got shouted at. Uh, you've scored, you've done the hardest thing in the whole game. Jimmy used to, yeah. Jimmy, I don't know if you've heard this, but Jimmy used to do it, and I never knew about this leading into it, right? But he used to do an analysis of the game on Monday, right? on the Monday after a, a Saturday game, yeah. so all he would say, right, and you ask any of the boys that have worked under him, he would just come in and go, Sai, game. And that's all he would say, right, so you had to stand up in front of the whole group and talk about the game that you'd just played in at the weekend, right? Yeah. So, I can't remember what my first game was, I can't remember. Anyway, he's come in, nobody's told me about this, right? So, <laughs> he's come in, he's like, right Lee, game. I'm like that. Alright, what game? The one that's coming or the one we've just played? <laughs> Fuck it, what do you mean the one that's coming? Fuck it, the one we've just played? I think Scott Severn bailed us out or Barry Nick or somebody like that said, oh listen, I thought we'd, we'd done alright but we could have done this better and all that. So you talk about the game and then yeah, they right. bounce back. No, I thought it was brilliant. It just aired everything on the Monday and that was it. And so we just bed. watch clips and highlights? No, and, no, no just we just talk about the game. We just talk about it. Um, and you would give your opinion, you didn't want to throw anybody under the bus or anything like that but, but he was there's a few boys like aye aye midfield haven't they been there no way as, oh aye and you'd be like ah, fucking aye no, ask me then I'll, <laughs> I'll stand up and tell you but and would it ever end up with boys a, a lot of boys arguing with each other a wee bit aye sometimes um, the biggest one was obviously we get beaten the semi-finals against Queen of the South that was Jackie will tell you that one Jackie Mike the man no come on oh, you tell us we're not going to get Jackie on they just uh, Jimmy called Jackie out but he's defending and that and like he's like kid me on I've, I've, I've kept uh, Ronaldinho at bay at times and all that he's like wait a minute here uh, aye that was a bit it was a bit meaty shall I say it? it was a bit oh, of a feisty man. meeting like um, but no it was just good. good it just got everything out in there and that was it put to bed and you went and trained did he like your son bed as much as people said or was that his natural colour? mate 
honest to God, see the pre-season trips, they were like, pff, we went to Egypt pre-season. <laughs> oh, inclusive of Egypt. <laughs> for one reason, and it was for Jimmy to top up his tan, man. He would blistered, he was mahogany, <laughs> and he used to have blisters to top up. I'm not kidding, we couldn't, we get, so we would do a week or two weeks in Aberdeen pre-season, then we'd go away a pre-season trip, and that year it was, uh, it was Egypt, and the boys were like, I don't know if I'll be able to train Egypt, Painting hot over there. Just, uh, she could only do. So we were at a good fitness level, and then we went in there, and we lost all our fitness because we only do ten minute bursts right. over there. But <laughs> he was the baller, so after training, he would just he would just lie by the pool, lie back, and let his belly button fill up with sweat. Overflow, right? Time for me to get in the pool. Oh. Buff away, you go back out, sunbathe. Madness. Budgie smugglers trunks. Budgie smugglers. Wait, no, oh, even, uh, aye, all day long, right? Old school the, man. The trunks. <laughs> Spider's legs. Man. I met him in the. I, I, I met him. Just be kicking about the pool. <laughs> aye, after training, after training, you would just you would do your recovery or whatever, and he would, would just lie by the pool. Uh, loved the night. Out. Oh, aye, pre-season trip. He'd, he would insist. He would come out with. You. He would come out Brilliant, with you. Man. Aye, um, just loved the team bonding, getting together. Loved it. I know, Absolutely. I had one night out with Kamarnik and he came right out with us and stayed out to feed them all. Oh, I oh, oh, was first there. Kamarnik, he was your manager at Kamarnik. Oh, right, so you Jim played under Cold Out? When Jim got the sack, he came in to caretaker as him, Sandy, and Jim. Aye, 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 aye. Some of the team talks we had were like outrageous. We played Rangers one day, and I, I've said this before. He, he says, remember, remember the day, boys. They need to win. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> I was like, so it takes all the pressure off your head. No, because he was a big Rangers fan. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> big Rangers fan. And then that mate. summer I left to go to Hearts, and then I got injured a few years, and then I got married. And because I knew you had a house in Magaluf, uh -huh. I phoned him, I said, Hi, Jimmy. Big, what's he doing, big man? All right, it's, it's good to see you. I'm going to get back fit in that. Um, he never gave me a in Magaluf. <laughs> and I says, uh, I'm coming to Magaluf for my stag do. You phoned me when you get there. <laughs> I seen I got there, man. He came and met up with all my pals and that, and made a day in Magaluf with man. man. Oh, Absolutely. What a character, mate. What a oh, character. What a guy. Is he a guy? Mate, yeah, remember he had the running with big uh, langers. Langers in Magaluf day. Hey, what happened there? <laughs> it made papers to the north. Aye, Langers did know, was like, slagging yeah. them off. Aye, I was at the club. I can't you remember. Aye, 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 I was there. Aye, aye. Aye. So he got dropped. Langers got dropped for this. For this. The start of that season, I'm sure. Uh, Aye, Soapy, something uh, happened, Soapy and Langers called something him out in Magaluf. They had a ding dong in Magaluf. The fight. Uh, Langers was the both were obviously blitzed. Um, had a ding dong. I can't remember the fine details. I it's incredible. It. But you're drinking your gaffer. That is always what happened, isn't it? But he got dropped for the start of the season. Aye. Soapy played sure. Um, and then obviously Jamie get back in, but. Aye, there's there's a story there. There's that a story is incredible. There, mate, I don't is know that the uh, mischief enjoys football? Your time at Aberdeen? Um, probably aye. Probably everything just happened. I like my spell at Hearts because I was in a rich reign of form. You know that way. You know you're going out to play. And you know you're going to score every game. But in terms of <laughs> that was actually funny the last bit when I was at when I was at Hearts. So funny enough, I played my last game with Hearts away to Aberdeen, and there was talk of Aberdeen and Dundee United trying to sign me at that time right. so I'm a Hearts player well I'm a Bristol City player on Monty Hearts playing away to Aberdeen and uh, they thought I was going up there and I feel terrible right but I came off last 10 minutes of the game I think we were getting beat I think Aberdeen were winning <coughs> and the Aberdeen fans were chanting my name like, one Lima only one Lima and you were playing for Hearts and I was playing with Hearts and I was either going to Hearts Dundee United or Aberdeen I picked Dundee United after they'd done that aye <laughs> Mate, honestly, man. <laughs> so see when you went back to Aberdeen after Aye, right? But listen, when I signed with Dundee United, my first game the next season As Aberdeen. was at home against Aberdeen. What's the chance, is scored it? Scored and fooled away. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, man. And then obviously go in and end up signing with Aberdeen, having a decent career. Yeah, your hearts would have been under like, the mad Roman office. We're going to come to that in a bit. Oh, Just quickly are. on the Aye, Aberdeen right. Killy, who'd you fancy for that? Because Dell's done really well against Aberdeen this year, hasn't he? I think. Killy um, would fancy themselves, I think. I think Killy will fancy themselves strongly, and I think Killy will have a quiet eye on. Potentially getting to a final this year if the draws kind. Yeah, yeah. Dale's was good, didn't he? Dale's Dale's good. Good. Dale's I think really they're good. probably up there. Like, obviously, with Garden Hearts and the run they've on, but Kilmarnock probably for me is the next best team in the league. Mm. Yeah. The Although when I seen sport. them, when I seen them against Muddle, I, I was uh, disappointed in them. Aye. 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 And they said good. that they weren't really. Uh, uh, I think they're great away from home to other. Yeah. I think their best yeah, performances are at home, yeah. but they've grounded out results away from home. Dale, he recruits well. Yeah. He recruits so well. He's been given time as well, though. He's been given time. Do you know what sums Derek McInnes up? Text him. Pass on my best wishes to Slaney. Sorry to hear about his mum. Ah, that's but nice. I mean, he's a, he's a good guy. We need to put that. Oh, no, that's yeah. nice. We need to say good send off for our one.
Ah, oh, mate, honestly, the, the, I always measure the measure, the measure of, a, of, a, of, a, of a person who was liked by many mm -hmm. is how many people turn up. And I swear to God, this right. church was uh, rammed, and every rammed. and all the football players at the back uh -huh. stand up because he had Snoddy was there, mm -hmm. Faddy, not, King, Faddy, Charlie was there, Charlie, they were all there, um, and mm -hmm. I thought that was amazing. But um, no, nah, really sad. But I tell you what, what I said after she got, uh, amazing. Uh, There's only one thing missing. Fit, I thought your socks. <sighs> Hey. He, he oh, talked man. about it, you know. I've got him. The hardest no. black leather shoes you've ever seen. So obviously there's, so. A, there's a story behind it. I was out working in the morning. That. <laughs> I, was, I was out working in the morning and I had my tracky on and my white socks. Right. And then I had the suit in the back of the car. So when I went to change my, my suit, I didn't have any black socks. Mate, I I'd, enjoyed I can't it wear, you, I'd enjoyed it if you wore the white I socks. I couldn't wear the white socks to uh, my suit. No. But would you go? Would you go knee socks or white socks? Knee socks or white socks. Knee socks is better than white I socks. Think it's been a bit funny if you don't. I thought they'd call me a bit Sylvester, <laughs> Sylvester the cat. No you, you enjoyed that buffet as well, I'll tell you that. She's joking, I'm two bits of chicken and pizza. I was scared to eat because he, he can't give me that much grief. He says, You just keep looking at the buffet, and I was like, Fuck, then I'm not even going to go up and try no, because it. I brought the food in at the kitchen and you couldn't even wait till it got put on the I table. Just because I help, I help bring it in and I stole a bit of pakora. And he's like, Fucking hell, you couldn't just wait until everybody else gets a bit. Oh, what a oh, man, yeah. uh, Right, Rangers, right. opportunity to go talk to the league on Wednesday. They won by three goals. Against Ross County, I brought you would fancy them to do that with the phone and how Ross County, are. Ross County. Oh. But Don Kelly, Don Kelly's good. Man. People speak really highly of Don Kelly. Think you'll, you'll see an improvement in Ross County under him. I, I think so. He'll have his own ideas as well. He was fit as fuck, Don oh, Kelly, wasn't he? He had a good career, by the way. Yeah. Really good Did career. Sound. Don's a good lad. I done a, a applied management course with Don, and he came across really, really well. A what course, sorry, mate? Applied management. What is that? Course thing. So it's just about management within football and stuff, and it was yeah. really good. Really good. A lot of pros are on it and doing it, and. Um, he was on at a time and he came across really, really well. Really well. I think he'll do well. Mm -hmm. I think he, he, he definitely won't do any worse than what was already yeah. there. Because obviously, <laughs> he listened to Davy Martindale's interview the other week saying that he was got a devastated. Ah, devastated. devastated. Good, good honesty. Because that, right? obviously, <laughs> the honesty. way Derek Adams has rode into <laughs> yeah. Ross County and said what he said, that obviously upset the dressing room. And I don't think, I think he lost part of the dressing room. So now they've got Don Carey in. You would like to think there's an upturn, but Rangers, having watched them, um, the boy Quertz. Cort Cortez, 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 Cortez. Ah, he looks lively, good. doesn't he? Yeah. Diamond looked alright. Silver scored, so Rangers could be. There could be a wee corner turning there. Even at that, the Rangers know how to win games now. They're not playing amazing no. at times. They're scoring, but they're scoring the freely. Aye, aye. Right, they're, 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 they're scoring at the right time, and it's aye, they're games. scoring at the right time. Whereas mm -hmm. if you compare that to Celtic, it's like pass, pass, pass. It's yeah, like yeah. oh, kind of hoping. Whereas Rangers are making things happen. Mm -hmm. But the boy Cortez looked very, very good. Off like, the left. Off the left, cutting mm -hmm. inside, good shots, linking up the play. Silva needs to play ahead of Dessers up there, doesn't he? People say he's not a nine, but I still think he's a better option there than what Dessers is. Aye. He looks as if he's got a bit, doesn't he? Yeah. Aye. He looks lively, but he's all, yeah. all, uh, all action. What did you think he's been sent off? That's an argument, aye. Oh, aye, I, I think there's an argument. I thought was made a red than his two years. Well. Golson as well. That's a shocker, isn't it? That's a shocker. Golson's got one of these... Right, so here's one. So, if the player that was tackled goes down and rolls about... Oh, he's off. So do you need to do that to get somebody oh. sent off? Goldson's got like a fucking uh, a card he keeps putting up that just seems seems, seems to wipe it in times he's ever got sent off. <laughs> 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 the man. But that is the thing with Clermont, isn't it? Like, I don't think they've actually reached their full potential in mm -hmm. terms of style and playing, yeah. but they're still getting results. And he, he's made them so hard to beat, isn't he? Defensively, they're really good. If they go out on Wednesday and win, say, 3-4-0, it's a, it's a high possibility, mm -hmm. and they go top of the league, you imagine what that'll do for that dressing room that's... Because I don't know how many games have went on winning streak so far since they got beat by Celtic at um, mm. Parkhead. But listen, the title's on. Mm. Because Celtic were good as well on Sunday. That's the good thing boss. about it, though. It is. The, this is what you want. As yeah, yeah, a Scottish football, football fan, what you, what you, what you want is a, is a close race mm -hmm. for the top and a close race for the European places. I think we've got that. The relegation yeah. battle could heat up if Livy can mm. somehow get a win. There's, there's not much between the teams. No, bottom, a, a, bottom six. Man. No. It's as if there's like three leagues within one league. Um, but no, for me, um, Celtic, Celtic were good as well. Celtic were good Sunday. Celtic were good. Right, tough then, yeah. It's the best Celtic I've played for a while. I thought, it would, I thought Kyogo was really good in the, in the ten roll. He was good. And that, it, it shoots him better in that and system it, to play the When he was dropping short at the beginning of the season, he's dropping short, but there's nobody to be honest him. Up, but but because either stays way up the top, yeah. Kyogo's unable to drop in, and sometimes when they were... So, what, I think what helped 
it helped the wingers as well when they were going down and you know how when they cut inside and sometimes they don't really do anything mm -hmm. well they had that option of playing into Kyogo had a wee link didn't they? Aye, aye they had a link so no they look and good and by the way he's a better football player than just a finisher Kyogo eh? oh aye. definitely aye. and off the ball mate he works mm -hmm. fucking so hard St Mirren were uh, St Mirren put some amount of balls out of the box by the way St Mirren are good though yeah, that's Goggins what I mean. was unlucky not to score a couple Goggins of chances as well Goggins was very unlucky Joe Hart needs to take a bit of credit as well. I thought Joe Hart was good. Joe Hart was good. Um, but still, they defended well. Got to, got to take that. Mm -hmm. they, they did defend well, considering mm -hmm. it's a, a back four that's been kind of. If somebody said to you, a back four is going to be. Makeshift, be it? Aye. Welsh, Aye. Ralston, and um, Scales at the beginning of the season, there was no, no yep. chance. Welsh always does well, don't he? Comes Aye, in, I, I like think, him. Well, so do I. I like yep. him, he's assured. Mate, the two of them are good. I can't, I can't recall really a mistake that no. Welsh has made while he's played. I thought Tony Ralston was a good player. Kept it simple. Big Scales sometimes takes a chance. But he takes a chance right. in the right ear that gets him beyond, and then he's able to play that forward pass. Mm -hmm. But I thought I thought Celtic were good. Riley looked more composed as well. Mm -hmm. Back to bit um, and big eyed, although he didn't um, he didn't get any. Like, I don't want to be too negative, but he's not. No, funny. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what I liked about him was when, 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 when he, he shifted got, it and got his shot away. Aye, no, he looks, uh, he looks there, decent. I liked him when there was a ball played at the box and his back, he was offside, but he got his back to go and he laid it off. Mm -hmm. I think that could be an option, like playing it off and maybe Kyogo playing off of that. Yeah, but in yeah. terms of a threat, I don't know. Mm. Who, who do you make favourites for the league based on what you've seen? Well, I know everybody's talking about momentum, but momentum's a big thing in football. Rangers have got momentum. Like I say, they've not been playing particularly amazing, but they're getting the job done. They're, they're winning games. Celtic have dropped points, big points at times, but I don't think you can call it. No. It's just good to have a title race. It's yeah. a hard one to call. I, I wouldn't want to call it, but the, the Celtic will become a stronger team once they get Hattati and Carter Vickers back. Aye, but when players. are they going to come back? Big I've players. Been for six weeks yeah, or something. Said, so, and Rangers have, got, Rangers have now got a squad where they can do a bit of rotation because I think Jack played on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which he hasn't done for a while. And they've got Cortez, um, Silverin, and they've got options now, Rangers. Diamanda looks like a good Diamanda player. Diamanda looks decent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Uh, talking about top of the league, Falkirk flying in top of League One. Yeah. Is there yep. is there, I know it's your club because you started there and you've got a big affiliation one, but is there a wee bit of. Uh, a wee bit of. Uh, probably a wee bit of. Uh, because um, obviously we weren't given the full season mm -hmm. to do. Listen, it could have went anyway. Did see, so if you didn't mind talking us through it, like. Are you warned beforehand that you need to start winning games, or did somebody just come to you and say, "Listen, you have been relieved"? No, it was kind of it was out the blue. Obviously, I think we lost two in the bounce, um, and then that was the first time we'd been knocked off top spot. What? And I think, right, we just need to gather ourselves and get together and win games. That's all we. That's all we are focused on. It's you've been a manager yourself. It's just it's so difficult. There's so many things to consider, and all you want to do is get three points. Mm. You're obviously thinking about the game you've just played. It consumes your whole life, man. Oh, it's crazy. It consumes your whole life. Am I right saying that Falkirk struggled to actually make the playoffs that time? When they no, they never made the playoffs. They never, they never made, made the playoffs. Right. Right. So we were I, top of the league the full that. season. But all it totally got them 10 sponsorship deals with this <laughs> company. <laughs> so that's how you know. The Hedo got up the stairs after that. The Hedo got up the stairs for that. No, so we we brought him. He was brought in for director of football. Football operations. And then he took over. Um, and listen, I don't know. I've heard so many different things that things have happened, but it is what it is. It's Again, how does it happen? You just get called into an office and say, "No, I get a phone call." Don't even face get a to phone face. call, and that. Um, phone and you, call you weren't saying, expecting it at all. <laughs> not that we weren't expecting it. We knew we were under pressure. Being the Falkirk manager, having the the biggest budget in the league, having the best players, um, you were always going to be under pressure to win every single game. And when you're not, when you're on a kind of sticky patch, you're knocked off the top spot. You think. Sake. You and Big uh, McCracken? Yeah, yeah. Aye. 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 Listen, I loved it. I loved all the man management side of it, and we had a good thing going. I, I think if you probably asked any one of the players, they'd have been buzzing mm. with how we were. We were good at our jobs, um, but obviously not <laughs> that good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we get the sack, but it just felt felt we were, were hard done by. If see if we'd have got to the end of the season, we didn't um, get us promoted either, be it to the playoffs or automatic. Then fine, you know what? We've not done the job, but four four games. To go and we get the sack was a bit, I thought it was harsh. Nice. Especially because Cracks was a bit of a Falkirt legend as well, wasn't it? You obviously started aye, your career. Aye, that's it, aye, exactly. Uh, um, that time. You started yeah. there under Alex Totten and then Ian McCall. Ian mm -hmm. McCall was kind of on the rise back then. How was he as a young manager? I liked him, mate. But even before that, like, see, when I started my, my career at Falkirt, I was a midfielder. I right. was the same as Lennon was, box to box, zinging the ball a bit. I know you probably wouldn't so believe what that. Age to what age were you a midfielder? Like? So that's the thing. So 
I'd never been on the bench for the first team at Falkirk, right? So I was youth. I was I, Mark Kerr was your your prime example of a young player getting in, holding his own. He was a f he was poster all boy. the white no, yes. face. He was poster <laughs> boy. <laughs> he was all the white yes who we, they all looked up to, right? Mark, yeah, oh, he's doing it. He's well. doing it in the first team. I hadn't been on the bench at all, even for the first team, and with injury suspensions and Alec Taunton. I trained with the first team all the time and that and played reserves. Alec Taunton's like that. Big man, you play up front. And I had skinhead, I was kind of stalky, gave a wee bit. I don't know, I'm playing it, right? But right, you're playing against Ross County on Saturday. I was like, oh, right, okay. Why well, did you make them say that? You just because of your don't height? Just because of a wee bit of eye, because I, I, I threw myself a bit of it. I kind of, I liked that hustle bustle, midfielder, win my headers, hard in a tackle. He's like, ah, play up front. I said, I'm playing anywhere, playing goals, playing anywhere. Played up front, we won 4 3, get man of the match, hit a crossbar, an overhead kick, dream debut without scoring. Right. And that was me ever since I was a striker. That was my career from there on in. And I'd, through youth, through boys club, I was a midfielder. That's all my days. Mad, so mad. Do you think it helped you as a striker, the fact that you played midfield, maybe? Um, probably. I wasn't as selfish as I probably should have been. Yeah. So I, I liked laying some If they were in a better position to me, I would lay them off. I wouldn't go and be greedy and score, which I probably should. And I've probably done better in terms of goal scoring ratio. Yeah. Do you think anybody went um, up to Alex talking about that? Maybe that big bastard's a midfield player. I don't know. I, I, he wouldn't have bothered. I still speak to Alec Totten to this day. He's a great guy. He's a gentleman, a guy. And I still call him Gaffer. He's hey. my he's my one where I say, right, Gaffer. Ian Wright and Glenn Hoddle. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Wright, stop calling him fucking Gaffer on the telly, man. I would, I would though. He was the one where I was a youth player coming through. But um, no, he gave me my opportunity and um, I'm thankful for him to be doing that. But McCall, McCall was brilliant. McCall came in at a good time for me in terms of great banter. Is him. that Ian McCall's first job? Um, you obviously done no, something no, to get the Falcon no, so job. He would, uh, he would oh, been at Air United before that, possibly. Yeah, yeah, right. been so he She's came in, to in to oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, him, Owen Coyle, uh, Yogi, Kevin James, a, a right good uh, together. Some we togetherness we had, and uh, it was myself, Mark Kerr, Andy Rogers, boys like that that were in about the first team. Um, and it was just brilliant. What a season we had. What was his pattern? Kevin Peter. Just he used to. I just slaughtered everybody. <laughs> own coil was what own coil, you had to be on your toes, man. Like every time you come in, they would go, like say for instance, in a tight t shirt on, right? And I came in, he said, Ah, oh, oh, what time you uh, what time you uh, setting off later? And he would just throw a bomb in like that, right? And he'd be like, ah, where's he going with us? She just think you try and think, right, what have I got on here? He's slaughtering my gear, what is it? He's like, ah, Tour de France, what time are you doing the third? He would just he throw me that, things up, just throw me things, mate, of... and it's just like, what a finisher, man. What to finish it and McCall used to banter between me and Coyley, and it was Tony Dock was actually assistant there along with Gordon Chisholm. But he used to say, Right, I think I think McCall took Coyley to get top scorer, and uh, Dock took myself and Coyley. Coyley stole about five or six goals off him. We have a tour and blast ahead of him, but just tap it in. But uh, what a season! I loved that, loved that season, and that was like we won the league at a canter. I was like, ah, this is this is how football goes. It's brilliant, happy days. Yeah. But and Coyle used to say to us at the time, listen, this doesn't always happen. Like, just soak it in, enjoy, enjoy it. it, enjoy well, so it. Is that the early two thousands? Is it? Oh, aye, aye, aye. That'd have been two thousand. That's a great two, guy. Maybe. to learn off with Owen Coyle. Oh, oh listen, I Owen Coyle. I know Damn. you've interviewed him a few times, and he's everybody Coyle. says the same thing. <laughs> aye. But aye, he, oh, he, he was good at what he did. Day, wasn't he? Every day in train. Where did you chip the goal every day? Every day in train, he would chip the goal left and right foot. What a finisher, man. Oh, is he? What a finisher. Is he be one of the best strikers you've played with? Aye. Up there. Definitely. Is he, eh? Aye, definitely. He's work great. He was so fit. Can I brew before every, uh, every game? training session? Every game. Tito. I am brew all the time and you just, just run. See his fat legs. Oh my God, his warm ups. Oh well, he my would, he God. Take he, the would take it. Oh, he would take it. He would take it. So the warm up would be a go. fucking doing? Oh, aye. Oh, there's nothing worse than that, Bleaching. mate. Yeah, when you're boring the warm up, you know it's oh, bad, aren't man. it? Aye, because you're, you're preparing for like you think if this is uh, this hard, what is the actual running going to so be he, like? I bet he's he's proper going <laughs> for, <laughs> it, for it, but he's but, but not even that. He's talking during that, talking for he's no piped. We don't yeah. try to keep up with him. He's like, aye, aye, but he's the weekend that aye, all right, aye. For, uh, Unbelievable, great, yeah. great guy. Did you great think guy. he would go and have the career management that he had? He's very clued up. Aye, was he even, uh, even back as a player? Knows the game inside out. Aye, yep. Definitely. Was Yogi the same? Because obviously they took over Yogi together was after fun, that. Man. Yogi was fun. How was Yogi when you as a young player? The season before, the season before I'd played against Yogi. Um, he was at Air United. Just big rock solid guy would smash you. But nice enough guy, like wanted to play football. 
you know, every every game, before every game, he would go out to smelling salts. Uh-huh. He'd be like, right up, and he would nearly knock himself out before. And I'm I'm a young boy coming through, and I'm looking at an experienced pro, thinking, is that what you're meant to do, man? <laughs> you can't even walk, he's stumbling. <laughs> no, I thank God I never started that. Mate, I love the smelling but salts. Do you know I, I used to, oh, I used to no, do the uh, smelling uh, salts and then put Vicks on my... There's doing yeah, smelling salts, right? Yeah, and there's <laughs> proper <laughs> inhaler. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Vaseline, mate. It's the same stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the smelling salts are good. Oh to man! But, so then, did you play against Yogi in training? Obviously, aye, aye. Would he smash aye. you? Oh, aye, I would give you a bit. But then we talk you through the game as well. We that is good. Aye, well. aye, really uh-huh. good. Really so what's saying like you should be there now or? Aye, aye. Just like when I was playing, it just you're doing well and all that, and just keep doing it. I'm fucking giving you a bit here and that. But we still talk you through the game. It's good, really good. He's another one. What a career in management Yogi's had, eh? I, know, I think when I came up to Scotland to play with Kamal, like Yogi was the manager of Falk up then. I think we relegated mm-hmm. Falk up then. Mm-hmm. And I remember him like, going down the tunnel and said, I'd fucking love to play against you. Aye. He says, You might bully Darren Ball and Stephen Pears, but you wouldn't fucking bully me. <laughs> and I was like, I think it's the size of him. Still ripped his shreds, right? Aye, he's ripped his shreds. I quite liked him, though. I quite like, I would, I would like to have played aye, under him. Under him. He, played, he wanted to play football. Aye, he was quite likeable. Probably with Russell Latapy, obviously, and he just, they just wanted the ball. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Ball. Oh, he's Inverness. When I came back up here, he's Inverness team played the best football in the league. Mm-hmm. Oh, they aye. At Dundee. Yep. Oh, yeah, really good. They went the Scottish Cup that year, didn't they? But he's always tried to play football. football. He's always tried to be like a modern type yeah. coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then you get a move yeah. down south, mate. Bristol City. Danny Wilson, mate. Brilliant. I like him. I love Danny Wilson. He's a great guy, isn't he? Oh, I've all played under Danny. Where did you play with? Hartlepool. Did you? I had a fucking sipped off Astra. Yeah. Did you play with Hartlepool? Did you have Hartlepool? I sipped off Astra. Ah, great guy. Great guy. Top, top. He loved the boys going out together. I loved that. And the players lounge after the game. You get a pint. We went to London for three days, and he had on the schedule that we were going to train every day. When we got done, he's like, "Ah, what." Forget about training, we're just going to have three days if I can. A very good football man. Aye. Aye, Aye, definitely. Like, really good background, good pedigree Mm -hmm. for me. I thought he was, um, I thought he was very good. You played in the League One player final defeat to Brighton? Aye, that was a tough one, mate. Millennium, mate. Aye, that was a tough one because I never, (laughs) I was kind of on the verge of, I I don't even think I played the, the semis. Do you know that? I think it was in the stand, two semis, and then injuries forced me to play, and I'm like, fucking hell, man. Um, but ah, that was a gutter, mate. Gutter. Was, was it, you, you said you never got nervous before games, but did you get nervous in a game like that? Eh, Walking out in that nah, full stadium? No, really. No. no That's really. the one time I thought I was nervous about the playoff final at Wembley. Uh-huh. I, see, I remember standing in the tunnel shitting myself. Aye. Right? So were you in the, the new Wembley? We were new Wembley, mate. Oh, aye, aye. aye so so you aye, come so out we... in the fucking fire shooting aye, up. The, oh, you're fucking aye. like that. What? Yeah. Oh, see, I never got to that was when Millwall, that Neil Harris looked at me, he's like, look at them lads pointing at me. They're fucking shitting themselves. I was like, how does he know I'm shitting myself? Mate, that game passed me by. Aye. Were you similar? Aye. Yes, it did. It did, and I feel like oh, I didn't know just get a hold of the game, a scruffy neck. I was yeah. a young boy, man. I'd been. I bet there's loads of. Con- con- like I think of when we played uh, Millwall semi final at Old Trafford, and it was like a sellout. Is that when Cahill scored? Aye, Cahill scored, beat us one nil, and I'm sitting there. I played the game, and I come off, and I look back now and think that game passed me aye. by. Aye, I why, why, it. why did yeah. that? Why was I not just a wee bit more Brave. aggressive? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because by the time I got being aggressive, I started dominating. Yeah. I was like, why the fuck did I start? Yeah, it's mad. It's as if you're like on. Yeah, yeah. You're kidding on you on it, innit? You're standing behind your guy, like, he's it! You're like, cautious as fuck. Champion 2002, oh, man. Did that you know so. before the games, the playoff games, that your money was going up as well? Aye, aye, that's the thing, mate. Aye. Yeah, you're all like, oh, yes, getting the, getting the championship. I think it was League One, was it? Aye. So getting the championship, you're playing against all the bigger teams, obviously, your money goes up. Yes, on that. And obviously, you've got the after the game. Venue and all that booked just in case you win it, and then it was yeah. going there as a loser. And you're like, oh, fuck it, man. But the family's not there, and you're like, uh. we actually started the game on top, mate. The first 10 minutes, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going up to fucking five grand. <laughs> you do, you're going to buy a house. You do. What I, type of house am I going to buy? It's thinking all that. It's mate. mad. It is mental because it does go through your head. You shouldn't try and block it out, obviously, and just try and concentrate the game, but you can't help it. You no. can't help it. We, when we, like we did it, we were that year, we were in the, the championship. We'd been relegated for the Prem, so some of them were struggling financially and the borders a borderline going into administration. Right. So they'd asked us to take like a, a wage deferral. So you had to defer like one week's wage out of the four weeks every month and they would give you it back at the end of the year through the parachute payment. Oh, right. So up until that point we went on a mad like fucking crazy FA Cup run. We were in the we were in the playoffs and, and 
I think it was like a week before we were playing Millwall, Jason Matt Deer came in and says, right, I've had a, he was the club captain type person, I had a meeting with the club, they're going to be able to pay all my money back early because of the cup runs and the TV coverage we've got, we've managed to get, and I was like, all right. He says, so Kyla, if we win the semi-final, the win bonus at Old Trafford, and we get that, he says, you'll be due about £112,500 back. And I went, <laughs> wow! Holy fuck! I was like, right, okay. And what have you done to win it? What would it go down to? It was like thirty quid. Ah, it was like fucking. That was like <laughs> that, that was like that was like he should never have told us that because oh, we were then negotiating like uh, yeah, we yeah, were yeah. negotiating a semi-final yeah. win bonus, yeah, and then a final win bonus, and we weren't even fucking. Mad right. how much they can do that to you. Mm. I think twelve. I think we were twelve and a half grand to beat Millwall to get to the final, and then maybe like twenty grand a man to win the final. Right, you're sitting there thirty-two grand for two games. Some mm. guys run on like maybe six, seven, eight hundred quid a week. Wait, uh -huh. mm -hmm. How is uh, how is moving down south? Bristol's a lovely area. Lovely place. I love lovely Bristol. place, mate. Bristol's I probably a really nice place. place. See, I it. see, because I was so young, I probably didn't appreciate it. Were you not a big um, one for going out? Not really, no. I had misses at the time. We did get the odd night out, but no, I just did you move I never straight appreciated away? it. She came down now and again at the time. So you, yeah, did you only have me. Danny Wilson as your manager? I didn't get myself a venture. Was Danny Wilson your only manager? No, so Brian Tinning took over. Brian who? Brian Tinning, so he was a club legend. He was a player at the time. Um, so would then Lee over. Jones' dad be the next guy after that? Or was he before uh, I don't you? Know if he was the next. Well, he was, probably, he was probably, probably the, the Yeovil manager at the time, I think, Gary Johnson. Aye. Um, what, what players were at Bristol City at that time? Leroy Leiter was coming through. Mate, Leiter. I listened to his. Uh, did he know were you Great there when he fought, when he battered somebody at a night out? So I'd left. I was at Hearts at the time, actually. And it was him, um, Steve Brooker. Steve Some, uh, 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 a few other boys I, um, I that kicked off like he led it he's like off, you know, he's, he, you, him and your boy are the two judo champions in the <laughs> <laughs> I Leroy see your boy so fought I in played, the final I played, I, played with, <laughs> <laughs> I played with Leroy at uh, Middlesbrough as well great boy man just Strong chilled boy, just mate. chilled never touched a weight never Anyone touched a weight he's like absolutely he rapid uh, uh, Leroy else it was good Bristol City so I signed with um Luke Williams, Australian internationalist. Right. Came midfielder. Over. Midfielder, yeah, I right. came from Middlesbrough. At Middlesbrough, that's uh, right. So me and him signed um, at the same time. Who else was there? God. McAllister? Like. Was he after no, you? No, Maka wasn't there. 19 um, goals Lee you Peacock, got for Falkirk, right? Peacock, yeah. Lee Matthews. I played with Peaks at... Peaks. He loved the light. What a guy. So I stayed with Peaks for about a month when I was down there, when I was uh, organising getting my house down there. What a boy, man. Oh, hero. He's, 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 Scot he's from Scottish, isn't he? But he's ah, been down south for that long. He's a kid on Scottish. He's uh -huh. a man, can't he? Was he with um, Esther at the time? He was Esther at the time. Crack, man. Mate, she was a... Cr she was the first ever... So she she was like... like Peak's supposed to be about 35 out there to I remember like seeing on the players and I was like, nah. <laughs> she's a darling. Your bird is amazing. Peaks is funny as well, man. He's so the funny. The must have been there. He's had like, tattoos, do you uh, remember him? Tribal proper. Tribal, tribal tattoos. Tribal tattoos, tattoos uh, Scotty Striker. He had naughty pattern. Scotty Murray. Ah, Scotty, Scotty Murray. Murray. Still, so Scotty Murray's still there as kit man. He's a kit sure. man, aye. Aye, aye. Was that Scotty Murray? Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray that played with Kelly. No, no, no. No, Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray. Scotty Murray that is. No, Scotty Murray. He's been in Bristol like He's oh. been there for years. He's a kit man then. He uh, played there and then ended up getting the kit man. She so. played there. He's a legend in there, like a Aye. proper legend. Is he? Um, he went to Reading and then come back. And uh, I still there. He's a kit man there. Uh, Scott is a great boy. Aberdeen daft. And like, did you Aberdeen. did you know David in there? I, I started all right, um, and then kind of fizzled out a wee bit. Um, Homesick. Possibly, possibly. Um, and then obviously John Robertson gives a phone call, and then I came up to Hearts and. Things like that, you don't think about it at the time, but things like that can uh, kickstart your career again. Yeah. The Hearts one for me was a breath of fresh air, new lease of life, poof, I'm back home, go and go for fun. Uh -huh. Were you ever yeah. homesick when you went down there? Ah, fucking me, I didn't think about home. I know, I was, I was home. I was out too much thinking about home. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <mate. laughs> we, we must did, have we a shite life oh, We right. didn't enjoy a night at down there, like Bristol mate, was, was really incredible. good. That was incredible. See, when I first really got down there, honestly, mate, like Thursday, like, yeah. I think somebody said about Nigel Clough, we used to go for a pub quiz on a Thursday, mate. You'd sit having five and six pints. Aye, but you went to England older. What do you mean? Like you I was twenty-one. Like, aye, so like. Aye, so I was what twenty. Aye, I was when I late, when I was homesick. I was eighteen. I was like this fucking YTS malarkey living in a house with twenty guys just doing it for me. Yeah, did you hate it, Kevin? Oh, oh mate, I remember. Would you like no? David, would you keep like crying? Aye, I remember. I, 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 I was proper homesick. I had enough of it because like, football wasn't good, mm. and I was like, right, that's it. I'm done. So I'd set set my target. This is I tell this and that and that. I mean, a day after dinner speaking, try to phone him. Maybe answered. Try to phone him the next night. Maybe answered. Like in the 
in the the, the like coins into the phone. Uh-huh. Phone the next day, next night, no answer. So I had to phone my neighbour, knew his number. Says Ian, is there anybody in my fucking house? Nobody's fucking. No, answer. your ma's here at mine. I'm. <laughs> 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 and uh, he says no. Kevin, I suppose no. you wouldn't be able to see who as his call neither. I know. He <laughs> says what I'll do is I'll, I'll if, if I see them coming, I'll tell them you're, you're trying to get a hold of them. But if, if my mum then phoned me. Says he sat down. I says aye. He said, I had a heart attack. Oh, mate. And oh, I was like, man. oh, my fucking God. I said, right, I'm definitely coming home. So the club sorted him out with a train straight up the road the next day. Here was my dad, oh, fucking, like, he was on death door. He was he was touching Goville. He was going to survive. And I was like, oh, man, I want to go up this football because I'm homesick. Mm-hmm. This guy's fucking yeah. driven me the length and breadth of the country for six years to get me this opportunity. And, I went, and that was the when I went back. Turn focused, vision. Aye, focus, focus, it, focus, I'm focused. fucking doing it for this guy and mm-hmm. that's what I did that's mad mate and did it turn after that oh eh? after that man, I, st- I started fucking scoring goals for fun mm-hmm. just got this new like it was like I felt like I'd, I felt like what an opportunity I've got here mm-hmm. I just need to work a bit you know, harder you get complacent it's aye. complacent and then you're, saying, you're, about, like you're saying about leaving just through the motions and you're saying about leaving Bristol City to go to Hearts Hearts would for him probably at that time the way he played was a fit because Hearts aye. always had a you know, a big striker, target yep. man, but it somebody, was just a Vries, focal point. It was De Vries went. Aye. Right. And um, then so if he could, he would look at Hearts and think, if I could do what I can do, these Hearts fans will take to me. That's the way I felt when I went yep. to Hearts. Yep. And sometimes certain clubs just fit for you. That like you went when you left Swindon to go to... Portsmouth. Shite. No, well, I was actually was good. No, but Portsmouth are shite ahead. Aye, <laughs> but it was it just wrong move, wrong time. I, I should have never left Swindon to go to... Coventry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just went because they offered me more money. Yeah. What I should have done was I should, I should just have took the money that Sunderland offered yeah. me and just got my head down and worked hard because yeah. I would have ended up in the Premiership anyway under Roy Keane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I went to fucking Coventry. Oh, it was just, yeah. it's just it's mad, decision it? making. Yeah. And that's where you think that Lane and, and his dad's mistakes or right yeah. moves, you would probably but be the, able to try the and guide them. The environment has to be right for oh, you to fit in and go and express yourself and go and show what you can do. Mm. See, if that environment isn't right and you don't fit into that culture or whatever it is. You see, moving down south yeah. at that time, mate, you had to be thick skinned, mate. Oh, like, oh, if you'd went down there, mate, and you were precious or sensitive, mate, aye. you'd had absolutely oh, no chance. Oh, like, ben Hutchinson went down to Swindon with me, mate, and Ben uh-huh. couldn't handle it, mate. Aye. But I'd came through with like Lenny, sort of, who were constantly on you all see, the time, that's, mate. That's so probably what I get to me, mate. Through Coily. Coily and that, they ripped you every day. So you were thick. The more you went on, mate, and you would give a bit back, yeah. that prepared me for going down there. Because the banter was ruthless. Ruthless, mate. <laughs> ruthless. I, I actually, like, I things actually, that would never be allowed to oh, I actually think no I've chance. got PTSD from my days in summer. <laughs> uh, I swear to God, I can't remember oh. an ex player commented something on Twitter. And see when his name popped up, I fucking just wrote back to him and went, You're a cock. <laughs> I tried, oh, I just wrote back, You're a cock. <laughs> You're, you're a bully. A <laughs> I just wrote back, you're a cock. I'd love to see you. I'd love to see you. I look back and think, that guy caused me nothing but misery. Sleepless nights and misery. But were they doing it to do it? Were they doing nah, it to do it? Was, was he was just a back nah, into he that. was just an arsehole. Was he? Uh? And see if I ever met him to this day, I, I will stiffen him. <laughs> I am not joking <laughs> you. I will stiffen him because back then I didn't think I could. Right, enough about Michael Bridges. How do you know that? <laughs> oh, uh, I like these stories I've asked you <laughs> like, So you're at Bristol City mm-hmm. When do you first hear a heart's interest You just sit in your house one night And your agent phones you Or does John Robertson phone you directly How does it come about? No my agent said to me Mark he's like eh, Listen get interest up the road Get you back up the road I was like aye let's do it Because I'm not going to play here The manager Brian Tinnett Had made it clear That I wasn't going to play I wasn't going to feature for him So it was Giving me an opportunity To go up to Scotland And I never played in the Premier League At the time in Scotland, I'd been the uh, first division, obviously get promoted. Falkirk won the league and didn't go up because of the stadium, so we stayed down. That's how I had to try and go because right. all the good players were going at the thing. Um, all right, so that's why you left. Aye, that's Falkirk. why I left. Aye, because I went the pre-season trip and it was a way to Czech Republic and the fans are singing my name and it was there was talk about me going. It didn't many clubs. Falkirk fans were on a fucking pre-season trip. Mate, to Czech Republic. Be surprised. Be surprised. Aye, Falkirk. I got a right good backing, mate. A right good backing, and then. Two wee guys Obviously in the stands singing Lee Miller's Day. Love you, Lee. My family, I'm like, um, But no, I, I came up and knew, like, I wanted to come back home and just... See, before you went um, to Bristol, was there interest for the Premier League, Cotton? There was a wee bit, aye, but I just wanted to go... Go to I mean, aye, down south. I, listen, I, I, I hadn't done my research and how big the leagues were and all the different um, leagues and trophies and all the different things that are down there. And I didn't appreciate how much... The English love football. It's a different game down there. Yeah. It's a different ball game down there, man. Um, but no, I liked it. I enjoyed it. But 
it just came to an end and thought I need to get back up with great move because obviously you've not done great at Bristol so I get a move to Hearts is, yeah is yeah John Robertson showed a lot of faith in his like brought us up and uh, <laughs> it was in an era where <coughs> Craig Levine was the manager obviously John Roberts came in everybody's wearing black boots because Levine was like black boots black boots I came up with a pair of silver preds with a red tongue and everybody's like oh, nah you're not be allowed to wear them what do you mean I don't let you wear coloured boots and that the bits away, like <laughs> fucking wearing these bits, and I went and chapped the door. Uh, John Robertson door. I said, "Listen, Gaffer, it's all right if I would. don't care about bits you wear as long as you're scoring goals for me, son. Not a problem." That was me, aye. I had the people concentrate and stuff like that. Know, they like black, they <laughs> coloured bits. John Robertson was uh, a great player as well, wasn't he? I must have given you confidence because he was a top striker, wasn't he? What uh, finish as well. And training was the same. Did he join in? Join in training, and if you scored a goal in training, he's like, "Ah, you're just five hundred odd behind me." I love that. I love that part. I love it. I need to ask you because Paddy McCourt said that he used to get a shite on every away away game on the bus. Was he the same at Hearts? Who's that? John Robertson, the manager. Oh, I used to. I used to hide in the toilets and. <laughs> on, a, on the bus <laughs> oh, even on the bus in the changing room <laughs> what are you thinking in front of the boys <laughs> I love that mate the gaffer no, sitting there in the no, changing room <laughs> just trying to hear you wink to see what's happening <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he a good manager I liked him I, I, I had him was he good for Hearts he came into Hearts when I was there to help the strikers like, just a bit of striker coaching and I think he, his striker coaching was decent to be fair it was, it good. was do you know, enjoyable aye, do you know what he done was he was yes he worked in the shape right but he just went, go and play with freedom. He worked on a couple of wee patterns here and there, go and play with freedom. And it was me and Burchy up front, and we just... Burchy was a good player, wasn't he? It's rapid, mate. So, so quick. quick, mate. Good I met him the other day, actually. Great boy, man. Great he's boy. He's what? Chief scout at... Chief scout at Bournemouth. Bournemouth? Nah, yeah, he's what got a great job. He's got a cracking job, aye. Good boy, man. Really good player. He just used to glide across the grass, man, didn't he? He's rapid. Uh -huh. Absolutely hey, rapid. He was good at Hearts at the time when you went. Uh, Harley was, was there, Craig so Gordon, Craig Lee Wallace, Presley Webster, Michael Stewart. Elvis the Daddy. I the Daddy. It was it was so good because it would be on you. See if you didn't take it tight in, say as a striker you didn't hold the ball. Walk in the old big man, walk it you blah. Like, oh, Alright, big man, fuck's it. But the next time you told it in, you told it in, you'd yeah. Zico midfield, feed me for fun. I tell you he was a cracking player, but for some reason didn't play that much when I was there. Stampy. Oh, Phil Stamp. Oh, mate. Good Phil looking boy, wasn't it? Mate. <laughs> he used to bring his boy up to training every, every, every session. He used to kick a ball. What age was his boy? <laughs> I don't know. I must have been. What? And he would just 12, 13, walk just a kick about, what? Kick about in that. Why did you go to school? Play, mate, he used to play. I don't Why know, did you go to school? <laughs> ill that day. <laughs> Seemed to be every single day. <laughs> no, but he used, to, he used to play practice matches and he would be the best player. Oh, he played the middle of the Premier League, mate. He was a good player. Best player in practice matches, but he never got a sniff. Mikey was there, Mikey was good. He's a Michael Stewart story, come on. Mate, he just used to... Just get angry. See if he... He was his own worst enemy. Aye. Like, if he gave a ball... Fuck it, Mikey! Ah, oh, fuck it! He hated himself, class, didn't he? He was good. Aye, he actually just, just like, hated himself. Aye. Class? Oh, he was good, mate. Aye, he really was good, good player, aye. man. Technically, really I good. Wee round the corner. See if a striker, he'd, he'd see it, he'd see him just... Wee bit of eye contact, round the corner, come and play with you. So I wanted when he was, when he, when, 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 I would describe Mikey, when you were playing like the Scotland on a 21s, 19, 20, 21 age, when you saw Mike, you, you, when you watched him, you realised why he was at Man United. Because he yep. was that clever. Yep, yep. He, he was, was a couple of steps. It, if he could him. just control the anger. Oh, it was within. the only worst thing. What's the angriest you've seen him? You remember that? No, I can't. Just every day. Just, just, just grab balls and just I boot him. I I just I grab just grab balls and boot him. Mikey, what are you doing now for Mikey? And you're like, calm down, you fucking man. It just was wild. And then you see now, you speak to him like this. It's just so guy composed and chilled down. How was Craig Gordon brilliant? Class. Aye, best goal I've played there. Why is it? Oh, by a country man. Have to score by him Just go, go gadget arms and legs, get everywhere. He's a big figure, isn't he? Uh -huh. He's just... And uh, obviously his athleticism, everything about him, mate. He was just... He was class, class keeper. Mate. Even Lee Wallace was a great young player, wasn't he? Lee Wallace as well, aye. That's right, aye. He was class. Yeah. Were you out there when he got done for shooting the guns? <laughs> that was so there, unlike me. <laughs> Such a strange story, like though. That. I, I can't remember the ins and outs of it, but you're like... He didn't even. I, I, the most mellow big guy yeah, ever. I cannot. I, I genuinely cannot remember Lee Wallace speaking when I was at Hearts. No. Nah. But I, I bumped into him at a Rangers tournament down south recently. We're chatting away, quite a thing. But see, when I was there as a player, not a word. No. Nah. Not a word. But I tell you what, he could drive with the ball. He was a good. Oh, player. he's a Rolls Royce. Really man. good player. Callum Elliott as well played against Cal's team on the season. Elliott, aye. So he was a young boy coming through. That was good. Time, aye. Good player. Uh -huh. Really good player. Um, big Elvis. Did you play against Big Elvis? Aye. Did he call himself a daddy? No, I, I played against him. Morning for, chaps. I played, we came up for Sunday on pre-season, that would have been maybe 2000 and 
the E4, you probably would have been, we played like a hearts raises or something. And he bullied me because I was just a young kid. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I'm going to fucking get you back one day uh, when I grow up. Did you ever? And then we came back to command that like, we was playing for Falkirk and I scored a hat trick by him and I fucking did absolutely you? tore it in shreds. Oh, he did the daddy would have hated that. He was he the best got, in the world at fawning the ball. ball. Oh, yeah, mate, it. don't. I was just going to say that there. That so was he just fawning the ball, isn't See, it? having him in your team doing that, brilliant. Because he got you to jail. He was facing his own goal. Ah, oh, But see, playing against him, because I played against him after that. You'd just go like that and he'd be down. See, when you were talking about misses, yeah. am I right in saying that Elvis is misses with Tracker. my darling? Tracker. I see him, I see him. Tracker. I remember going to a Scotland trip and she was there and I was uh, like, oh, Tracker. Wow. But he's got a bit, mate. He used to, ah, see, when he came to Selly, mate, he drove the old school jag <laughs> every day. Aye. He was dulled up, mate. Aye. Aye. Like, see the perception you had of Stephen Presley before you came out? This guy's going to be a prick, mate. He's the, not, the, he's the not, best guy ever. He's not coming to train a tracky. No, Pretty never, mate. He's never. He had boots suited, but not suited, but jeans, boots, very smart. He's. A suave guy. He wore a fucking. He wore a bag every day. <laughs> Fuck knows what was in the bag, mate. It was like a bag with documents. <laughs> Why are you wearing a bag like that? <laughs> like no, he's old been no bag old records, records, mate. It was old records. <laughs> <laughs> like a vinyl fucking bag or something. Wasn't it? Oh shit, God, you've just sparked an error in my head there. What a guy! Brilliant. It was Hartley brilliant at that time. That was Hartley was anyway, flying ahead. So that was when he played further forward. He played further forward, and then when he went to Celtic, it was kind of. Played um, deeper, didn't one he? Of a six, wasn't he? But he's scoring hat tricks in semi finals. Right, like were you there at that time? No, I wasn't there at that time, but he was scoring for fun. Going for fun, my hearts when I was there. Real good player, technically really good. Um, but just like, it wasn't like one of those where he was a proper pro, looked after himself in the gym. Didn't he do anything like nah. that? Didn't have a great figure in like, just could ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. So why why obviously Hearts it went quite well. He scored a few goals. Aye, why yeah. did you, why did, did they not try and sign you or what Aye, happened? So there? so I got an offer at Hearts right, which was buttons right, and I knew. So it was that everybody just else was before on. the Romanov era? So that was Romanov was coming in at that time, in. and we used to have every second day there was a bounce match between the young boys and Lithuanians coming over, mate. It was a football, basketball, it was world <laughs> war. Mate, the, the pros, the, the, the first team boys used to go up and watch it and they would just kick lumps at each other. Because obviously young boys think, you're coming in to get my contract, uh -huh. I can control you, man. Honestly, it was like every second day. And used Romanov would ref it? I never actually got to meet Romanov, but I probably did ref it. He ran the line. <laughs> he ran the line, imagine that, serious partner. But, um, um, so you never got had any dealings at all? No, then? nothing, nothing. So there was a, a chief exec, I can't remember for the life of me his name. That'd be um, Sergi. And that, no, it was a, it was an English guy, I'm sure. Um, and he had gave me an offer and he said, listen, that's your offer. You've got till five o'clock to sign it and it's off the table. John Robertson had just had the sack, so we had no manager at the time. I'm like, can he sign here with no manager? I know what everybody else is on. I'm lo lo not looking for crazy money here. I just want paid what everybody else has paid. And then I thought, nah, can he sign that? And it was off the table. Was that it? Aye, yeah. You had the five o'clock and that was yeah, it? That was they it, negotiated. I spoke to Elvis, I said, listen, I'm, I'm not looking for crazy money, this is what I'm looking for. He's like, aye, that's fucking more than doable. He um, said, I'm not giving that, so that was that. that and I was gutted, I, I was gutted because that, I loved yeah. it. I really enjoyed my time there. Um, and I was kind of, at the time, I was a kind of fan's favourite, albeit it was only six months, but every time I went on the pitch, I can even remember the smell, the taste, everything. I knew I was scoring, I knew I was scoring the goal. And play oh, well, yeah. You all loved it there as well, didn't oh, you? Yeah. Good club. And then good Dundee club. United, another mad, uh, massive club. Who was the manager at Dundee United that day? So it was Gordon Chisholm, who <coughs> was the manager, and went up there, they had European football as well. So it was between Aberdeen and Dundee United. I knew loads of boys at Dundee United. Um, good dressing room, they had European football at the time. I knew the manager because he was assistant at uh, Falkirk when I was there, Gordon Chisholm. But it just didn't work out for us at Dundee United. I thought you'd done alright, Dundee United, no? Nah, I didn't. Great dress, listen, great dress room. You'd uh, Del McKinnis, Stills, Kelso. Who's uh, Stills? Jim Matt, uh, Derek Stilly. Oh, Derek Stilly. Mad right. goalie, mate. Like, I'm, I'm saying mad goalie, right? He's a, a fully qualified lawyer. Like, Is proper, he? clever, clever guy. But see, I used to travel in with him and Big Samson in the morning for Perth. And honestly, <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde personality, man. Fucking nice, fucking that. And he went, oh, golly gosh, yes. Two, two different well, sides. Well, so a different guy at football than he was in the motor. Aye, uh, aye, aye, totally. And, uh, but no, what a Barry Robson as well. Um, Alan Archibald, all these guys that have went to be managers and that. That's a handsome crack, dressing room as well, that. It was a cracking changing room. Cracking changing room. Brebner, Grant Brebner. Um, He's an Australian now, Brebner, isn't he? Brebs, aye. Uh, yeah, he was a good player, Grant Brebner, wasn't he? Lovely boy, man. Uh, Lovely guy, aye. Who was the best player in that team? Uh, Dell was class, mate. McKinnis. He was tail end of his career, but he was still class. He's popping the ball, ball mate. Ah, oh, just 
proper footballer. Kept himself in good nick. Um, aye, had a few good nights out with Was he a top man? Uh, top man. Aye, top man. He was captain of the United, didn't he? Aye, he was at one point, aye. Uh, yeah, yeah. How was a young yeah. Charlie McGrew back then? Funny. Charlie Way behind funny, the ears, wasn't it? Oh, mate, it's so funny when he came into us, man. So funny. Um, we had a car school, I don't know if he's told this story before. Um, we had a car school and there was a couple for uh, Glasgow that used to meet. Uh, it was a little chef and coming old uh, as old 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 so, uh, done many a piss in there so, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so we used to meet there right and there was loads of his getting the cars it was two cars went up and uh, so Charlie's obviously he's running a bit late he's fucking drove in I, think, I don't know if he'd a, a Land Rover or a, I can't remember what car he had and um, with a wee jeep at the time he's parked up jumped in the car up to train he's like oh, fucking he's looking a bit free stuff he's like sure I've done a training session looking for his don't know my keys I fucking love my, left my keys lost my keys oh shit so I couldn't think where his keys are, so we're driving down the fucking smoke belting out his car. He'd left his car on <laughs> a full day. <laughs> He's told that. <laughs> oh my god, he told that. I was like, oh my god, man. And that was the start of the Charlie just being he's just he's one of the funniest guys you'll meet. Ah, uh, he's off the cuff, man. Did he, he done well at United that time, didn't he? He done really well, scored loads of free kicks. That was when he started to see his one deal effort. Um, class, real class act. Man. Who else? Two man, Gordon Chisholm, and then was it Craig Brewster? Craig Brewster, I didn't he? A clash with Craig Brewster. Did you? Aye, for some reason, I don't know why. I don't know why he was more. I don't know what it was. We had we had boys that wanted to play football, right? He was more interested in being fit, being doing a proper squat than going. <laughs> up. He would. He would. Why is the manager? He'd be um, interested in squats. Aye, aye. And he try, I kind of tried to take me under his wing, and I was. Uh, I don't know, I was off the cuff a wee bit, just a wee wide at times. Um four four minutes on a Monday. That's what you done. Oh, on after playing on the Saturday? Uh, aye. It was it was it was madness and he came in at a a kind of bad time where um there was a couple of things happened and we just didn't agree on things and uh, it just nah, wasn't great. Uh, did you you never played Andy McLaren towards the no, end? No, I never no, Because she was no, under Chisholm, wasn't he? Aye. Is it if you know what I guess? He's, he's, he's a nice like, guy, Andy. He just like Free sale. In uh, terms of like confidence wise, oh, I bet uh, 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 he was some player, mate. I know he was. Uh, he, he was, was some player. Uh, I think. I think when it went against Craig Brewster, was it was more occupied, and you would have fast feet in the side and in games, right? He would find you for hitting over a pole and fast feet, <laughs> and he wouldn't watch the games. <laughs> he wouldn't watch the games, and you're like, the manager's watching fast football. feet instead of watching and the games. You're like, surely you're more interested in somebody holding the ball up, scoring a goal, than knocking over a pole and. Fast feet, and I just didn't agree. He should have been the sports scientist, mate, not the manager. <laughs> I had the sports scientist as well. That's the thing. Um, Imagine that no, to the sports scientist, you do the team talks, and then I'll just tell you what. Oh, was he like that? Was he? Yeah. I just never, it never, we just never clicked. We just so how, how long were you there for? I was there, what, a season and a half, maybe? Something like that. And then did they tell you you're leaving or do you ask to leave? Um, I could just didn't work. Do you know that way you, you're at a club and it just doesn't work for you, and you think, I'm not really that great a player. Um, and I just, I wasn't playing, I was in and out, in and out, and then Craig Brewster wanted Ruddies, so I ended up going up to Aberdeen. Well, yeah. just quite the last thing, where would you go for your nights out in Dundee? Was it oh, fat it was fatties, it was fatties all day long. How could just fatties? I remember, I remember uh, that when I first signed with, uh, with the Discovery Cup, pre-season cup, and that was the first time I'd played against Dundee, so Chef Wed, Wolves, he'd Paul Ince and all the rest of them in, in Fat Sam's, right? So... It was a late call, so we had all our trackies on. We were in Fat Sam's with our trackies on, right? right? So we were walking through, drinking away and that, and walking through, and this guy shouted, Oh, Miller, yeah, fucking... You know that? Launched a tumble <laughs> What was that, Dundee United fan? I feel like chasing it down and falling it back to him, but... It was I, Craig Dundee, Brister, wasn't it? A Dundee fan. A Dundee Brister. just, I thought, <laughs> this rivalry, man, is... Oh, it's wild up there, mate. Wild, man. Wilds, man. And uh, that was a mad night out. We were all, Chef Wednesday, Wolves, us... We had all the trackies on and Fat Sam's getting all sorts of shit. Mate, you're a guy, you wow. could be the ugliest guy in the world, mate, oh, you get to get off in Fat Sam's, man. No, no, Honestly. I've seen, seen a few sights in there. Oh, uh, things that should never be happening <laughs> in a nightclub, mate. You must have been in there regularly. Mate, man. I used to fucking <laughs> drive, well, no drive, I'd get a bus to Glasgow to, just to get to Fat Sam's on a Saturday, mate. Oh, what a laugh, mate. See, if you were playing like Aberdeen or however far away, mate, I'd always make it back for <laughs> Fat Sam's on a Saturday. Oh, mate, oh I lived man. for Fat Sam's on a Saturday. Uh, so then up to Aberdeen. Up to Aberdeen, I think. Do you have any Magaluf signing you? Do you have any signing for Magaluf? Do you have any signing for Magaluf? Do you have any signing for Magaluf? No, I'm not. Do you have any signing for Magaluf, mate? <laughs> 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 done a bit of... 
a bit of digging and uh, so wait, is this during it. the season? Because you said 18 months. So I must so have Jimmy, been, why, what the fuck's Jimmy so, doing in Magalus so mid-season? I, I can't quite figure that out, right? <laughs> so we got to the end of pre-season. The season had started. There must have been a break for something. Was it maybe international? I, don't, I can't remember. They don't hear a winter break. It was last day. No, but it was last day of the summer transfer window. Right. So I, I can't. I can't. And he's in Magaluf. Like, he's in Magaluf, mate. <laughs> he's in Magaluf, and I'm like, ah, this is mental. But when he came back, he put the boys through a kind of mini pre-season. It was his pre-season were nuts, man. Was it nuts? It was 200 meter runs up up a hill, and that, and we'd a fit team. We'd Barry Nicholson, Jamie Smith, Scott Severn, Russell Anderson. <laughs> Boys that could prop a run. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting yeah. like that. Ah, think of the boy, man. Miles flagging, behind. mate. Flagging. But I got myself fit. I got myself fit and, and good to go. Jamie but Smith is a good player, but I remember him. He was a good player. I've seen the boy. I went up. He's a really good player. He was a great guy. I love playing young boys. He was a great guy. Really nice guy. Is that really the nice hardest pre-season you've done, Jimmy Caldwell? No. Who's his? Strackles is up there. Oh, Strackles is fucking the runway. <gasps> oh my god, mate. Honestly, man. Character on it. He done these and seven, he just seven seven seconds seconds through the well. full thing. Seven He's seconds. struggling. He's doing well. He's doing he, okay. I'm He's looked after me. himself in the summer. Aye. He hasn't. Aye, mate, he would not shut up, man. man. He used to do the runs with us. He went to, we went to, uh, I'll probably get onto this, but we done a wee thing after the season had finished. Went to Marbe eh, not Marbe No, he loves Lamanga. Um, Lamanga. Lamanga. He loves Lamanga. Lamanga. We got a week off because we're going to have nine weeks off. In the summer, he said, no, no, you're not having nine weeks off. So I think we get two weeks in a week and then the rest of the time off. So that week we went to La Manga. All the boys that played done partly the sessions. The boys that didn't play like myself, the Scuddies. We done double sessions, mate. Strachan's running next to you like that. Aye, good time, aye. You doing all right? He could run by right, it. Yeah, I'm no kidding, man. Fuck. Andy will tell you about that. He Andy, used to go to the gym So that was Andy's, Andy's introduction. It was La Manga? I'm sure it was La Manga, aye. I'm sure it was. Um, he done well. That's wee Ouija. Uh -huh. and, uh, the boys loved them. Boys loved them. But about that Aberdeen team, the Bayern Munich game, remember it? No, it's class, mate. Do you, Josh Walker scored, didn't he? Was, it, was that mm -hmm. at Pataudry? That was at Pataudry, aye. Him and Sonny. Was that 2 2? 2 2, aye. We should have won. It was a dodgy penalty. What dodgy was that? Penalty. Uh? Aye, Were you playing that again? Aye. Yeah. And who, did you who, think we've got a chance? That's my Bayern Munich in. Uh, close was there. Um, no, it's not close. Uh, Cruz, Tony Cruz. Why is he? He was there. You had Philip Lamb. You had Oliver Kahn never played the first leg. He played the second. He'd big uh, Luca Tony. What a the big Italian striker, uh huh? Oof. What a man he was, I'll tell you. Did you just think, like, he's under that good going over uh, the alley? Nah, <laughs> do you know No, we drew two each, right? And we were, we were buzzing, jumping about the change room and all that. What a result it was for the club and what a night it was, in fact. Um, but we were going over there. We're always going to get beat. We're always going to get beat, but we get scudded, man. Oh, oh they came out the traps. First for the kickoff. Went wide, long ball up to uh, Luca Tony, chased it down. I think Van Bommel's hit the crossbar, and the place just went, Whoa! I'm like, oh shit. And they just scored the ease, man. Whenever they fancied it, they just scored. What experience that? It was classic. It was unbelievable. Did you know something about a swimming pool or something? Was there no story? What was that? <laughs> so after the game, obviously, Jimmy's like, that's your lad, shit, I can't the league now. It's a great, it was a great run in that, blah, blah. blah. He's done yourself proud, fucking there, an unbelievable play, uh, team and all. He was, in fact, before the game, he was actually slaughtering all of our can. Ah, he's weak. <laughs> West side is weak. He's <laughs> <Side, laughs> working like that. You can't get in by him. He's massive. Oh, and uh, after it, sorry, after it, he's like, uh, he's done well, constantly, blah, blah, blah. So the boy's like, okay. So obviously, it's, it shares its ground with, uh, is it 18? 16 minutes. Aye. So it's their home dressing room we're in. So it's got the big, massive... It's not a pool, but it's like a pool. It's a big bath. So we're all cannonballing in. We've been scudded for Five a while. Cannonballing in this big bath, man. What a laugh. Amazing. Lee Mayer played, didn't he? Aye, Mayer's have played, He aye. signed up six Bayern Munich players to hell like that. <laughs> <laughs> Successful trip for Mayer's over it. <laughs> what a boy, Mayer's over it. Oh, and then uh, Mark Brilliant. McGee comes in. Mark McGee comes in, aye. He um, wasn't at that naked Darwin phase, was he? He was at a Dundee. No. Remember that he was no. promising to get naked and starve himself? Aye, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Fucking but people, man. No, but people do forget how good a, like, a successful manager Mark McGee was. He was yeah. doing South of Brighton done really well. He was, well. aye. That's actually, he was a manager that beat us in the uh, playoff final. Oh, was it, right? Aye, aye, but at Brighton. When you were at Bristol? Yes. Uh -huh. Mark McGee's aye. biggest yeah. success in England was getting Adam Vago a move to Celtic. To Celtic, <laughs> mate. Uh, God, remember that for 100%, mate. God, well, um, why did Jimmy go? Don't know, it was a strange one. It was after the... Hibs game and we guaranteed Europe again. The last game of the season, we all went up the stairs and um, to do the kind of end of the season dinner kind of thing, and it just funneled through that Jimmy and that 
got the sack, they left, like, we just made Europe again and uh, it was weird, it was strange and I don't know to this day why they done it. Did he uh, get a chance to speak to the boys and say I'm off? No, no, that was it, it was done. That's strange, and we went, ah, it was a real strange one, real strange one. And then obviously Mark McGee comes in with, with Leachy and uh, things never really picked up, they never really get any better, to be honest. Did you get on with Mark McGee now? Alright, I got on fine with him, got on fine with Leachy as well, he's from where I'm from as well, so... Um, it was fine, but I could just never, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen for them. So when did you leave? You left Aberdeen 2010, <coughs> was it? Um, so I would have been round about that, aye. Uh, uh, absolutely nick a move to Borough, mate. Mate, absolutely nick a move, because I wasn't even playing that well. I wasn't. Do you know that way you know you're playing well? You're there was talk at the start of that season, Southgate was all aye, boy Miller up, he's doing well and all that. But that was it, it was just a wee bit of talk and that was it. And then obviously Stratton gets the job, Pals and McGee, it's not Pals act in it, it's like, <laughs> who's, who's the biggest seller of asset, book, uh, 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 didn't you come? And I went down there thinking, do you know what, I'll come down and I'll try and prove myself, but I never got an opportunity, man. But you, see, when you first heard that you were Middlesbrough were you must have been buzzing there. Eh? Massive club Middlesbrough. Well, it was after, it was after the, and the Motherwell door. game, we uh, played Motherwell at home, and I think Motherwell beat us. And I just think I was raging, I'd have, I didn't have a great game, I was like, fuck's sake, come off the pitch and all that. And Leachy and the gaffer, like, leave into the uh, physio room. Is Big Bristol was in there doing steps as a first. <laughs> he was getting some of rub on his <laughs> table. <laughs> uh, that's an arse though, actually, I forgot. Bristol right, came up to right, we'll get that, that right, uh, but, So McGee and Leachy bring us in, it's like, ah, oh, big man, fucking great news for you. Gordon wants you done. I'm like, ah, Gordon, it's Gordon, he just threw it out there, Gordon. I was like, ah, it's Frank, he's what you're doing at Middlesbrough, what are you saying, you know, I'm like, oh, oh brilliant, you need me on a flight tomorrow, I was like, right, okay, choice, really? I was like, right, okay, like, uh, am I going, do you mean you're, ah, it's off, go down with your agent and that, da, 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 and that's that, and that was like, kind of, wait, that was the first I'd heard about it. Was it for a friend then or championship? championship? Championship. So are we talking like you've let the whistles blow out, you're going Literally just finished, they've had their team talk after the game, wait, in the physio room, nobody's in the physio room, ah, big man, fucking, that was it. That was it for there, and it was flew down, got everything sorted, and then a couple of wee things happened, and then it eventually got done. Aye. That's incredible. It's weird. Isn't it? It was so strange, Usually, you man. know about a move before you know about a move, but aye, to just random out no, the blue. Never, that's... It was just out the blue, bang, there you go. What was your story day. before that? Oh, physio? mate, honestly, man. So, obviously, we didn't leave in great terms. I didn't leave in great terms with Dundee United, and Craig Brewster was the manager. And, um, so, I knew Craig Brewster and uh, Jimmy Calder were quite tight, right? So I went up there, I've started playing, doing well and that. And uh, Jimmy's called me into the office, big man, can you come on? Big man, shut down, shut down. So he's like, uh, I just wanted to run this by you first, you know, I'm just, I'm hanging about getting Big Brew up to help you up front and all that. And I just oh, burst out laughing, I'm like, you're fucking ass, aren't you? And he's like, oh no, I ain't got me good for you, I ain't got me good for you. I'm like, are you kidding? I don't know if you're winding me up here, are you kidding me on? He's like, no, nah, no, nah, it'll be good, it'll be good. What do you think, what do you think? I said, listen, pff, you're the manager, man. You're the manager, you do what you want. He was in two days later. <laughs> he was in he? two days later. And he was fine, we got on brilliant night. But the boys have lured me into something, right? So I'm I'm giddy for the banter. I love all the banter. Uh -huh. and, all and Brew wore this big, crazy, bright shirt in. And Seve and Russell and that, like, oh, mate, you've got to put it on. You've got to put it on and get in the, get in the canteen and that. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. It's like, oh, come on, it'll be fucking brilliant, man. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. So I'm ready to grab his shirt, right? I've got the training kit on that. He's in the canteen at the time, uh, lunch show. And I've put it on. Just as I've put it on, Bruce came in. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Oh, fuck. All right, big man, how are you? All right. Oh, he's like, oh, I good banter. Oh, oh, oh. And I was like, oh, I oh, good crack. Yeah. So I hadn't even, I, hadn't, I wasn't even able to wear it into the canteen or that. It just kind of went, oh. oh <laughs> the boys are pissing themselves. Absolutely pissed Do you think Brewster, oh, did he, no. do you think he knew there was someone there or did uh, he think he was the other wiser? I don't know, he probably did, he's clever enough to know, we just didn't click, it just didn't, for whatever reason it just didn't, didn't uh, click uh, me as I, but the boys stitched me up a belt him and they probably asked him to come in, hey bro you come in five minutes, we'll and get him in, they've probably part. stitched up mate, absolutely done me a kipper. But, uh, uh, but see, middles about that time, they were playing, they were proper going for the Premier League, weren't they? Aye, they were, aye, yeah. Um, and did that help, that the fact that all them had signed the giant right, if they've, if all the Scottish boys will be people aye, there, aye. I know. Yeah, yeah, and people there I know, but I think, I don't know if it was because I'd came for Aberdeen, all the boys, the rest of the boys had came for Old Firm, and I just didn't fit, nah. I, I wasn't a good fit. The boy did, boy did so boy did come in, I went in in the January and he came in in the, the summer. Right. Um, so I went down, literally trained once for the boys, 
played, started away to Ipswich. I mean, that's fucking brilliant. I'm right in here. Done well, done decent. It was me and I mean, Chris Killen up front, possibly. Me and him up front. Yeah. Two's done well. Uh, I think we drew one each. And yeah, I think Chris Killen like, moves to fucking middles, but I'm like, I know, I was, How long did he sign there? A couple of years, or was it? Uh, I'd a th- a two year or three year, maybe. Oh, they've two sort of drew it massively, mate. But no, I, I would have been possibly a two or three year. I can't even remember, right? Um, and I went down there, I think, right, brilliant, I'm on it. And then I hardly played <laughs> after that. It was just. But then I, I, I made the mistake of going in and speak to Stratton, didn't I? Because the next again season, boy, and I have come in and Andy will tell you, we played a, a bounce match against Hearts at a training ground. I've been brilliant. I've fucking, you know that way, you've, yeah, you know yeah. you've been good. It was me and Scotty up front. Andy might have played that day. And I scored one, set up one, we linked up well, played brilliant, bossed uh, Hearts, done really well. Still nothing. I wasn't getting a sniff at all. Played reses, was sometimes on the bench, sometimes in the stand. I'm saying to the boys, like, have I done? They're saying to me, well, why are you not playing? Why are you not, like, nah, you need to get in Chappie's door. I'm like, nah, I'm not that guy to do that. I thought it got to a stage where, nah, I've missed it in a few squads here, I'm getting in. So Chap's the door. He's in this, ah, how can I help you? How can I help you? Like, you know? Just chirping, I'm like, ah, just like, speak to you. Ah, come on in, come on in, set yourself down, set yourself down. He sat down and <laughs> said, like, if I just want to know, like, do I need to do anything to play? I don't realise, understand why I'm not playing and feel as if I'm doing well pre season and I've said all my pieces like that. Aye, well, I totally disagree with you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, so where did I go for there? Yeah, uh-huh. I'm like, and I thought, no, no, I'm going to dig, I'm going to dig. Yeah, well, like, but I thought I've played well, me and Scott are like top against Hearts and that. Hi, well, and he's eating something at the time. Like, he loves eating that or something. Hey. Ah, well, do you know what? Maybe you can only play against Scottish teams. <laughs> I've played in Europe, I've played in UEFA Cup, I've played against teams. I'm like thinking, no, but you don't think about that at the time. You're like, fuck, maybe he's got a point. Maybe I can only play against Scottish. Like I'm like, fuck. And he's just like, nah, I don't feel as if you're doing the things that he signed you for, blah, blah, blah. I'm the manager, I picked the team. I was like, right. I said, I've no put you on loan because I respect you as a pro, blah, blah, blah. I was like, well, I just want to play. I just want to play. And I ended up going out. Uh, anyway, that Mowbray comes in, I end up going out on loan. He was straight talking. He said, listen, I don't feel as if um, I don't want a, I don't want a striker. Your stature, your kind of, I want a small in behind, whatever. I said, I disagree with you. I think you need both um, as a mix, but I respect your decision. I went out on loan. So. See, the first time you met Stratton, how was, how was that conversation? Do you remember that? Um, Good, he's just, he's just chirpy, isn't he? He's, is that he a phone call or was that, that meeting? Meet um, no, it was meeting at the training ground. At the training ground, we just chatted about and that. And, and he liked, he liked to like, see all the wee ball work and stuff and done. I was, my touch was good, so he was good with all the wee flicks and tricks. He's like, I love that word. Good technique and all that. Uh-huh. Aye, all the technique. And I would get all them nailed on, but that didn't get my game. So. <laughs> I'm a good two touch player, mate. Two uh-huh. touch or flicks, that's my game. Did you hear so. him, any funny team talks with Strachan? You remember? Oh, he's just, just to cut boys down, didn't he? Didn't he? Like, with, one, with one comment, like, yeah, I've played the better, I've coached better than you. It's just one comment whilst eating something. He always <laughs> eating a bit mm. of fruit or something, wasn't mm. he? But I liked him, listen, his training was brilliant. You knew, <clears throat> you came off the training pitch and you were piped. And you knew you were doing a session leading into a game. It was all structured around that. But you came off and you're like, that was a session. Ah, Whereas different. Mowbray's was different. You had to do a wee bit extra. His sessions weren't as tough, but he was getting results. Yeah. Whereas Strachan's training was brilliant, he wasn't getting results. It's... There's no quick fix, man. There's no... Mido. Yeah. Mido. What a guy, man. No give a fuck. What a guy, mate, honestly. <laughs> he came back to pre-season, right? And I'm no kidding, right? The biggest footballer I've ever seen in terms of heavy. It was just... Did not give one fuck about anything. But genuinely, one of the nicest guys you'll meet in football. Oh, is he? Boydie was lapping him. No. Boydie no. was... I'm telling no. you right now, Boydie was lapping him. He was walking pace. Was he not absolutely so caked out? He was loaded, didn't oh, he? Oh, aye. Uh, ridiculous. Game for like Royal, didn't he? Aye. He's a and prince or something, is he not? Is he not? Like something. Uh-huh. What was like, what was like, obviously Middle, right? Middle's there, Boydie's there yourself, these mm-hmm. strikers. Why do, why do you think that they work out for likes of Boydie that scored hundreds of goals? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think the way Mowbray wanted to play, wanted fast, quick, and behind oh, kind of strikers, that kind of way. I, I, I genuinely don't know. But see, when Middle get involved in training, as in the games, Oh, what a touch, mate. Uh-huh. Oh, he would suck you in, spin you outside the peg, bins. Uh-huh. Wow. But exactly. did not care, mate. Did not care. We just banter away, have a good laugh with He didn't like striking, did he? Nah, they didn't. They didn't go. I don't think he liked uh, Southgate either. I didn't know that. No, I don't think they got one either. I don't. 
And they said on his interview, and I mean, he just says to him one day, I'm going to buy this club and sack the manager. <laughs> <laughs> and he could probably do it. You know? Is he that look? Oh, he, was that Rolls Royce he drove? Aye. Mate, he didn't drive, it was his driver. And his driver used to park it in the, the manager's bay. Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking <laughs> love it. Oh, strike with that a head. Oh, that. man. Jesus. And what, he would just leave but it he went to, But he went, to, aye, he went to Ajax on loan. Ajax on loan. He gets a loan, bro. Jordan Henderson, but <laughs> I know, I know. But the size of him, mate, it was huge. Shoot, did not yeah. care. Who was the best in the but then? Um, for me, I loved Hulu Arca, mate. Oh, the Hulu. left back. You played up at Sunderland, did What a guy, mate. What a guy. He'd done this wee shimmy, right? He'd foot in the ball and he would do a wee drag. He knew he was doing it. He couldn't get near him. Couldn't get near him. What an attitude, though. Good. In the gym, uh, beast. Two touch, brilliant. Yeah. You couldn't get the ball off him. Seen boxes, he was the one you could not get the ball off him. We're going to do a wee bit about your Scotland team, but just quickly, we'll go with quick fire. Best player you played there? Best player I played with um, early days Ken McAllister crunchy oh I remember him he Love went to Chelsea him, didn't he oh did he? he was a great player I remember him back great guy great guy. Kirk, midfielder, great guy I played that was my kind of first introduction to first team football and he looked after us like he was a nippy winger I played up front with him um, no he was class uh -huh. he was class best player played against against um pff, Tough on that. I played the Bayern Munich game. I played against uh, Lucio. Oh, I was a and I got Lucio. But kind of feel Leverkusen. Unbelievable player, right? But I quite enjoyed. You'll be the same. I quite enjoyed playing against him because he didn't like it rough. Aye, so I would game him that, and he was aye. like, how, "How do you? How do you dare you think?" But on the ball, and that and he was a big unit. He would boy, step man. out for the back. But he always. Aye. I quite like playing against Bobo Baldi as well because no, just because I knew if I had a run in somebody, I'd beat them in there. So I knew first ball to come up if I've got a runner, I'll beat him. See the next one, I knew I was getting a foul. So I'm two 0 up, man. So in my head, I'm I'm winning against him. Yeah. That kind of way, because right. I knew you would win a you would win a foul off him. Um, but no, probably Lucio was a big Rolls Royce, wasn't he? Best, best, yeah. best goal, best goal I scored was Hearts against Kilmarnock. That's right. Aye, I'm not known for my long range efforts, but this was a. And saying that, I scored a couple of scissor kicks, man. Have you? Aye. Or who? Why do you sound so surprised? I know, I didn't think you were that time. I just always had a glance at the No, it was outside of the box, ball felt his volley, crossbar in. Uh, it was class. But best, I just knew what, best game you played in? Best game I played in was probably, it was either between two, Hearts, uh, Falkirk against Hearts in the Scottish Cup where we beat them 4 0, 3 0, 4 0. It was Craig Gordon's first game at Brockville. Or the Copenhagen, Aberdeen against Copenhagen was incredible, man. The yeah. atmosphere in the place was unreal, man. A bit unreal. Aye, yeah. and that got us through to the knockout stages with Bayern Munich, so. Uh, no, just no player-wise, but just as a teammate, favourite teammate? Teammate, I've got loads, man. It's, that's a hard question, mate. Loads of good teammates, yeah, man. One. Loads of good changing rooms, man. I was probably the closest to Mark Kerr, just because he was like a big brother at Falkirk. He was like a big brother to me. Um, everybody looked up to him and he was doing it. You, everybody else wanted to do it. He was there and nah, good guy. He's, he's top, top a nice guy. He's, he's a good guy. He's in it. Um, um, he's in coaching. He's in a Clyde. Clyde, that's right. Oh, that's Macaulay. right. Uh, back aye, to where else. He was Kier's a champ one. man hero, wasn't he, Mark Kerr? Aye, Mark aye, Kerr was aye, a champ was man. Aye. That's right. Tell you somebody keep tagging me in champ manager. says I'm an unbelievable champ manager. Aye. That's how you know the game's all the shit. 50 goals every fucking season, not a problem. What about favourite manager? Favourite manager? Hoosty was brilliant. Peter Houston had a great guy, guys. didn't say like that. Houston was the great. Houston um, uh -huh. was really good. What's a good manager? What was Houston good? Just man, like man management? Man management, aye. He just he allowed you to run the dressing room. He had these older pros like Sami, Kerzo, John Baird, um, Cracks, just to run the dressing room. He trusted us and he kind of. That was the first time I got a kind of insight to like management a wee bit because he kind of. He spoke you through things, he talked you through things and things like that. He's, he's very, very clued up, man. Favourite yeah, team talk uh, Hopkins? Aye, got to be. Got uh -huh. a shadow, man. Anything else, that? Nah. Covered it all with strikers. Goals. Uh -huh. Aye. I tell you, a right good teammate, though. It's just kept me. Job for my govern. Oh, JP, how you used to tie in you? Yeah. what a boy, Where'd you play with Jayat? What a boy, Kalil. Oh, Kalil, you spent Kalil, Kalil, Kalil mate. Oh, what a laugh, mate. What a place that was. Did you play with as well? He no, did, that no, no. He was, was he before? Oh, mate, Ian Hart went to Carlisle and he was a fucking joke. Left back, right. not. But he played left centre back for Carlisle, mate. The goalie would just roll him the ball, mate, and he would just zing a diag to the right wing. What, what year was Carlisle? 
Oh god, what did that mean? Uh, so we were sugar cube days, man. That was Kaleo. Oh, so you had played under me, Jai, me, Jai, Roy, Roy, Roy uh, Paddy Madden. Um, Paddy Madden, what a guy what a is boy, there. Mate. What a career he's had, by the way. Flying, mate. Stop great boy. On, yeah. Great boy, man. I went to a Yeovil yeah. on trial and Paddy was a great guy, mate. Top, uh, top proper player. good guy. Uh, right, Scotland, three caps. One against Maradona as Argentina. Pff, I know. Got two against. I know. Uh, Karen Cup, champion. Oh, Karen Cup winner, mate. Karen Cup, that's right. Played five minutes. That's the last cup against Japan I was a hamper boy mate I was I was going there to carry the bags mate. so who was the strikers that hit you then so I was it was probably I was probably fifth down I was everybody was calling off it was a it was a summer trip man everybody was going away with their families and I'm like right, I'll go I'll go to Japan yeah, so where was your first right, cup mate. that one I can't remember what year it was but uh, it was the Kirin Cup what was did you meet Maradona no but I, I, cup. I played the second I played the second half and that gives you a scored region did you miss a um, uh, it took a deflection, but it gave us a goal kick. Devastated. Mm -hmm. That way it happens, you know, it's hit something like that. Absolutely. Messi played? No. Uh, Mikel me. Di Michele's, uh, no, who was it? Aguero played. Mm -hmm. um, Mascherano played. Um, it was my second meeting with Di Michele's as well. Five minute keep played. Um, good player, Di Michele's. Uh, he was really a good, good player. Big was a good ponytail. Player. Again, another one who didn't like it his own way. So uh -huh. I quite liked that. Uh, like so you get the better of them uh, and uh, you worked under obviously Walter Smith and George Burley how were they Walter Smith Walter, Walter, Smith, Walter Smith Tommy Burns and Alan McCoy man absolute dream team what is it dream team it's brilliant. I loved it I loved getting away although I didn't play I was always in squads and round about it sometimes on the bench other times not but I just loved getting away and the, the banter and the training and playing with the best players Barry Ferguson McCoy and Burns it. together must have been amazing hilarious. mate amazing just that old firm banter like there was never any just slotting each other constantly just right. each other constantly aye right. Really good mate, really good, really good group at that time, really good group. And I was only, I only featured now and again in it in terms of getting called up. I was buzzing every time I got called up, whether it be a call off or whatever, I was there. Uh -huh. I'd be there and I could buzz off it. <laughs> what was Walter Smith of that sort of aura about him? <sighs> oh aye. Incredible, was it? Aye, just, you knew he just owned the room. As soon as he came in, you're like... Who took the train in there? You know, Probably mean Tommy and Ali, right? Tommy. Tommy and Ali, aye aye. aye. Um, Walter would do the kind of tactical side of yeah. things. He would take the shaping kind of thing, um, but no, they were they were just a good group to work under. They just blended yeah. together really well. Really Craig Bristow well. was fitness coach. <laughs> 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 he's uh, he's uh, stand in standby. Uh, stand uh, what about George Burley? Um, all right, I can't really remember much about George Burley in terms of training and stuff like that. But uh, no, I was just delighted they they picked us and gave me my opportunity. Half of the Argentina who, who game, which helped George Burley. I, I played under a squad with George Burley, but I can't remember who helped him. Was it must have Teddy Butcher, was it? Or was that no, it wouldn't have been. Uh, I can't even remember. No, can't even remember. I can't remember either. I, I, no. They asked me that the other day. Who was any other questions on Lennon before we go? Lennon, how where would you in let me see? Well, Lennon's what is he 17? A big 17, question. I, I, you say, oh, I can hear it coming. Well, we tell that story, mate. This is incredible. Listen to this mindset, mate. Aye, so like we're doing an interview with Rob McLean, we're just chatting away, and I know like Lennon's not he's not arrogant in any way, right? He understands how good he is, he knows how good he is, but he never he's never arrogant or cocky with it or anything like that. And uh, we're doing an interview and, and Rob's asked him, like, like where do you where do you see yourself in that? Where do you see yourself playing? Maybe you get aspirations. He said, I'd like to play a national team and um I can see myself playing in Champions League finals. And I just went, Eh? I've never heard them saying that. And you know what? Why not? Why not say that? Why not? That's like, incredible. Well, see if you don't, big, don't, see if you don't big, believe it, man. If you don't believe it, but yeah, why, exactly. Why, what's why, the point? What's the point? Why are you playing? Why, why, uh, why are you Andrew playing? Robertson can do it. Yeah. No, saying Andrew Robertson is rubbish, obviously. Well, listen, but I, could, I could see it from the the whole journalist side of things. That's going to be a, a headline. Be a headline. Um, and was it? Or, so, no, it don't. It will be Rob after done, this Rob done a story, not. But listen, he believes in himself. He's not arrogant. He's not cocky with it. But he believes in himself and. I believe in him as well. So. Was there things he done differently for other boys that you seen in his team, or would it would he be this would it be the standard of train two nights? Would he I, do other sports? What was no, there, was he's, there something he's, to say he's To be fair, he, he's good at every sport, golf, uh, tennis, all the rest of it. He just every sport he does, he's he kind of just. What's his main attribute? Would you his say? Main attribute, um, game his intelligence. Range of passing, game intelligence. Aye. He reads the game so well, and it's I just think it's what we spoke about. He's been in amongst changing rooms. He's watched the game. He's studied the game. He understands it for a young don't age. Don't like to compare them to any body in particular because I think that's always hard mm -hmm. sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hannah, you're going to say no. that. But what, what modern day Scottish midfielder do you see? Like, you know, you've got the, 
I've just like, McGregor. Got Barry Ferguson, you've got McGregor, you've got like guys that maybe like Paul McStay back in the day, all different types of midfielders. Uh, yeah. Um, he's not Paul Lambert obviously he's, he's an organiser and stuff right um, and I've always seen this through watching him through the academy and stuff he always does other people's roles as well as his he covers other people's positions so he looks after other people and sometimes that took away from what he was doing Yeah. yeah. Um, so he is an organiser but he's not a shouter he's not a moaner or anything like that so I, it's a hard hard question well, I see he's him, not a fair guy then that's good no, he's not. He's not in that <laughs> mould. Play wise, yeah, he can yeah. play. He can get forward. He can score goals. Um, but he's more of quite he's reserved. Been, then. Uh, he's been playing sitter most of the time. Where I see him when I've watched him through the academy, he's, he scores goals. Yeah, yeah. So remember he goes against forward, the Elgin, he scores goals. Uh, right? uh, Midfielder that scores um, goals. He go for the big bucks. Right? Yeah, yeah, you want to score goals, mate. Yeah. What? Um, yeah. so, sorry, just did he do anything differently? Would he do things outside the training? No, no, really, no, I, and I didn't send him any like uh, one football one, school or anything. Like that. I'd never done a one to one. Um, I just wanted to be a normal upbringing. It's a hard life. Lenin. He lost his mum when he was five. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So he, I wanted him to have just a normal upbringing. He's got a real good family unit now. Um, whereas I wanted him to walk to school, walk to his grands after school, have his pals in school. I didn't want him getting picked up first thing and going to. School. I think they got overdone sometimes. Sometimes it's good for boys, right, in their development, going to their football and schools and stuff but for Lennon he was getting enough he was getting enough of that um, and just it's incredible that he's managed to come through under David Clarkson's coach isn't it? <laughs> that tells you he's a good player I think it's quite interesting <laughs> that, like, from, from that a, a lot of people put me up with podcasts about they love, they love it when we talk about like the kids and the yeah, young because a, a lot of parents. dads parents mm -hmm. but I think that's sometimes I hear of other parents and what they're doing with their kids a guy said to me last week does Danny go and do extra goalkeeping training I'm Aye. like nah no particularly and th would that help him like not wouldn't it because <laughs> he has to learn in his yeah. own way and understand yeah. what he's and been taught and maybe a kid as well mate well that's, Aye, that's I mean, exactly three nights, that's three, exactly three, three nights a week. it's enough it's and enough then, for them like, I, we found it difficult lately where Danny's wee pal trains on a Monday and a Friday with a different team and Danny trains Tuesday Wednesday Thursday yep. and he's going to get his wee pal and he gets the weekend Danny could be here there everywhere yep. and and you think well, he's missing it on Aye. being his pal. So sometimes I think a, a message to get across this with some parents is, is that seven nights a week isn't always the answer. No, no. You've hit the nail on the head. Let them be kids. Aye. Aye. Let them have as normal a childhood as possible. Let them play at the back yeah. Yeah. and smash into tackles and play with the bigger kids and toughen themselves up. I was. I'm trying to get my to start smoking, mate. Just to <laughs> pop our kids, mate. <laughs> Judy and Frankie vaping at the back. <laughs> One smoke rings. <laughs> what about his debut? Like, I, I, when did you find out he was uh, he was going to be making his debut? Oh, mate, we were just lucky that we so we were on holiday, but we were lucky we. Magaluf for Jimmy Coulter. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Tank and Pints. Um, we were in uh, Portugal, and uh, we we never cut the holiday short, but we we had it so as if because we didn't know the dates and that of the the cup. Running that, but we thought, right, we'll stop it because it'll be round about that time, and it just so happens, obviously, he was starting that game. So we came back. It was a day, the day before, I think, we came back, and then a couple of hours sleep, and then drove up to Elgin. So did he get told the day before he was going to be playing? He was told, I think, maybe the week leading up, possibly. Um, and it was starting, and obviously went up. How there was that was, for you? Oh, it was class, man. Yeah. Oh, mate, honestly, man. Even when he made his debut against uh, Inverness, coming on, and then. Were you up in it? Was that no, 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 it was, it was, it was at Fir Park, I Just that Is feeling. Is that feeling like, like you've never had playing? Aye, as a oh, player? mate, honestly, man, it was like, oh my God, man. And I was so nervous as well, like, but it's proud, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He's, it's everything he's wanted to do. Uh -huh. And he's worked so hard for it. And he's, he's always been, I've always said to him, just be a good person, be a good teammate. Be a good teammate. He's always the one that sticks out in my head in terms of, and this isn't me blowing smoke up his ass, right? But, like we were down in Wales, he was playing with Scotland and they just qualified um, for the Euros and everybody celebrating about that and then come over to see their, their family and that and everybody just come over and got the pictures and that team of family and he grabs all the ball, the jackets and all the balls and all that and comes over. I'm like, fuck it. That's yes. how I brought you up. That's how you were brought up to just right. be a good guy. Jack said guy. that about McGinn as well, didn't he? That was that it's story just, McGinn. It's just little things like that, man. It's just little things like that, and just how come I used to help with stuff all the time? And I was fucking hopeless. <laughs> I used to put the cones out, man. I get nowhere, <laughs> absolutely nowhere. Don't you turn uh, the Just you get the stuff in the end. I picked up the poles for Brew. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't get a gig. Oh, that is great. Uh, but he's just a good kid, mate. Yeah, just uh, hopefully good. it works out for him, and he's he's in a good place. Anyone really that could good. play well at Elgin's a player, mate. Because I had a fucking shocker every time I played at Elgin, mate. I used to say to Jeremy Mike before the game, 
Why do you keep picking me when we play Elgin? <laughs> Leave me on the bench. I'm fucking hated playing <laughs> at Elgin, man. Can oh, never play. Man. Did you drop down in the Scottish Low Leagues? Um, Carlisle then. Carlisle and then went to Falkirk, Falkirk and then went to Livingston, get promoted, and then went back to Falkirk as manager. Go what on. was your hard? Did, was there ever? Did you ever hear a ground Scottish that you didn't like going to? I always played bad <laughs> Elgin and Ann and I was always fucking terrible, man. Leave me on the bus. I probably never played that well up at Peterhead, to be fair. No, we battered you that day. I used hammered his mate and got me sacked, and that's how. Did you play that day? Huh? No, I never. I never. There was a wind machine up there, too. I was. I, I, I was sure. Calves were gone, mate, at the end of my career. Uh-huh. Gone, mate. Just to go. <laughs> <laughs> Running backwards, <laughs> going forward. That is, mate, like, we have Derek on here, mate. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and Lennon obviously says about that Champions League final, but, like, see, if Lewis had said that, he'd have la- like, you would have laughed, like, what, mm-hmm. five years ago? Like, no. mate. I know. I know, why, why not dream big, why not level? dream big, like, you know, Bologna, Bologna is now fifth in the Serie A, she's doing so well, isn't captain it? as well, brilliant captain to see man, Lions. do you see a lot of good talent when you go and watch see, like, your set like youth teams and your aye. Marvel, is there a lot aye, of good aye. Scottish Loads players? Loads of good ones, I uh, obviously Jude, my youngest, at, um, 2014's at Muddle, and uh, loads of good players, is loads he? of good players, aye, yeah, I went and watched he was in at Rangers for a uh, couple of years, and then he signed at Muddle, so, no, they've got a good. They always seem to just manage to get a good wee squad together. Uh-huh. Motherwell do yeah. do well bringing mm-hmm. through youth, don't yeah. they? I watched, uh, I watched Motherwell. Yeah. 14s versus St. Mirren. 14s one Friday night. Good sides, both sides anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. They've got some good kids coming through. It's just Aye. you just hope that they. I just wish there was a clear pathway. See, like a rule, you have to play a Scottish under twenty one in your first team. Well, you remember that rule existed to you three in the squad. I know. But I made a fortune. No, I know. Time. I know that. But would it know? Would it not put pressure on clubs to have better academies mm. and have that pathway? And then first team manager will be like, we need to play one of these. So they need to, they need to, be earn, good. They need to earn the right. They yeah. need to have the best players. So it would be a clear pathway. That's where Lennon's always seen a clear pathway at Murrow to the first team. And he's always been told that and he's always been assured that. And then he's done that. What age did he start for everybody? the first team? Um, so we begin like Eastern and all that kind of stuff. Um, 15 now. Hamill said actually he was, he was probably ready at 15 to play, but... You're not allowed to play. The rules state you need to be 16 to play. Uh, even that, even that. that's a horrific rule. I know. If but you're good enough, uh, you're old enough. Yeah. You need to give Motherwell credit. I know he is exceptional, but it takes a lot to put a 16-year-old oh, right. kid in, doesn't it? It does. Aye. It does. But ultimately, but if he's in training every day, he's going to play then it's an awful game. Best player, you've got to get yeah. him involved. But no, I, 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 I like... I like the fact that, obviously, his dad played football and I like the fact that he's getting an opportunity and hopefully... You the national hope. team can yeah. benefit from it mm-hmm. because yeah. that's the ultimate. Well, I always think we, kids will go and have good careers, but we've now got like some McGinn's and that coming through. My national team, my national team's good yeah. because of those young guys. Well, we need the next batch coming through. Mm-hmm. The next mm-hmm. batch is Lennon. Who else is there? Ben Dokes, the types of guys. That's Dokes is a serious player. Aye, is he? Aye. 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 Him and Lennon playing the same so, so he's the year older than Lennon, but Lennon's been in that Scotland squad the year up, and mate, he's the best I've seen running with a ball. Aye. Oh, he's frightening. He's just so positive every time. He's got that nastiness about him. He's got uh-huh. the Wayne Rooney kind of. Oh, does he care who he plays against? Uh-huh. Oh, really good, really good player, man. Good. You really just good. hope that playing with Andy doesn't. Oh, no, I'd be fine. Andy will guide him. <laughs> Andy will help him. Guide him. They've got worst case. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. Coming on for worst case scenario. Doing the podcast in a few years. Mate, I'm sitting in. He's on open goal at 23, like Slade. Leave a lot of water. Cheers, guys. Thanks for having me. Thank you.